What's up, y'all? Welcome back. If you were joining us during the racing time, we're back now for some NCAA basketball. Hope everybody has had a good time today so far with some NCAA basketball. Uh, I'm taking a look at some of the scores already. Marquette won today. Purdue won today. And I think James Madison, did they lose? Let's see. Let's see. I can't see the, the ticker there. Oh, it goes home. See, uh, James Madison. I can't get all the way to the bottom there, so I can't really see it. But uh, we do have a live ticker here down the bottom here. Make sure you're checking that out. But uh, fans of the Green Bay Packers, what's up? What's up, Daniel McKinnon? What's going as well with you? We'll be bringing the live audio to you guys for the UConn Huskies versus the Northwestern Huskies. Should be a great game. Um, UConn's just been looking lights out. But Northwestern, uh, they look to ruin someone's party of a number one champ. All, all those brackets, they have UConn as the national champion. So... Should be interesting. Make sure you're hitting that like button. We'll see if we get some more folks in here as the game starts. And we'll be bringing a live audio here as soon as uh, Truth TV brings it in here to us. Let me see here. Bum, bum, bum. March Madness. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. And we're looking good. So live from uh, the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. The second round action for the Yukon Huskies versus the Northwestern Northeast the Northwestern Huskies as well. Huskies versus Huskies should be an interesting game. Uh, Purdue took care of business tonight coming at 8:40 San Diego State versus Yale. And then of course the tip off here at 6:45 just waiting on them to bring us the live audio from Truth TV True TV uh field goal percentage for both teams 58% for UConn, 57% for Northwest, Northwestern. Uh, Three-point percentage, 21% for uh, Northwestern to 24% for UConn. Uh, free throws, 19.5%. And what are, what are these? Are these stats correct? Team stats? I don't think that's correct. Averaging 38 points, rebounds a game, 31 for Northwestern. But we got any UConn fans in the house tonight. Make sure you're saying hi and saying go Huskies, go UConn, go uh, Northwestern. I guess you're saying go Huskies. It's going to be kind of confusing. Why are the NASCAR members only emoji still here? I just haven't had a chance to change them. But uh, appreciate you all hanging in here tonight. Make sure you're hitting that like button as you're coming in. And uh, just waiting on this thing to go live here. Let me refresh it here, see if it's. Ready yet? Nope. 645 Central. Usually it's been going live about five minutes beforehand, so I'm not sure what's up with that. <clears throat> but we've uh, we covered the Huskies last year. We followed them after Tennessee got beat. Um, we followed them all the way to the national championship, so that was interesting. Uh, Clemson up on Baylor 50 to 39 and uh Alabama. Grand Canyon running with Alabama 17-13 really early in the first half. So what's up, Pure Adrenaline Sports? What's up, Pa? Pa's in the house. Flyers down 2-2. Two -two. Awesome. That's not good for you, I guess, down 2 You see, is it tied at 2-2? Two -two? Pure Adrenaline Sports is in the house. Yes, sir. Flyers down 2 after 2. Got it. I read to read that twice. But we had a crazy NASCAR stream today. Almost 15, 16,000 subscribers, or 15,000 views. And uh, really fun. Go Huskies. Awesome, Troy. Appreciate you being here. Oh, they, they sent y'all. Awesome. Very cool. Awesome there. Pure Adrenaline. Appreciate you there. Let me bring this over here just a little bit. Here. And I'm just waiting on the... Usually fires up, so I'm not sure why it hadn't fired up yet. Three more minutes. Mm -hmm. Click on it. Still doesn't do anything. So we'll just bring the live audio here in a second. We bring our audio play by play. Pretty much, we're probably gonna let you uh, let the audio do itself here. But uh, <clears throat> but thanks for coming in, y'all. Get the viewers thing. We're also streaming on Twitch and the disc. Uh, streaming on Twitch and. Uh, Twitter as well. So thank you guys for that. Bring the uh, doo -doo. black. There's that. <clears throat> as we're slowly waiting on the, the audio to come in here. Six, 
43. I'm not sure why it hasn't updated yet. Refresh it. Oh, it's moved to 655 now. So we moved it to 655. So maybe we'll have the audio here in about 10 minutes. Moved it to 655 now on the uh, start time. So hopefully UConn handles their business. Yeah, let's take a look at, uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at some of the stuff for ESPN has, because this doesn't really tell me very much. Let's take a look at some stats for both of these teams. I know Bluey came back. Uh, wow, Clemson up on Baylor. That's a crazy stat right there. Let's see here. So let's take a look at this here. No, I didn't want that one. I want this one. Gamecast. All right. So, uh, Bluey, he's a guard. He's 19.3 points per game. And then you got uh, Barney. How you say it? Barney Vincent, nine, 7.5 rebounds per game. Bluey, again, with uh, assists per game, 5.1. Uh, for the UConn side, Newton, he's 15.1 points per game. Klingon, he's 7.2 rebounds per game. Newton, 6.1 assists per game. For UConn, their last five, of course, they beat – uh, in the regular season, they beat uh, S-T-E-T, Stetson, I'm sorry, Stetson. They blew out Stetson 91-52 in the first round of the tournament. They also beat Marquette 73-57. They also beat uh, St. John's 95-90. Xavier beat them 87-60. And per Providence 74-60. On the Northwestern side, they beat F.A. in overtime 77-65. They lost to Wisconsin in their tournament, uh, Big Ten tournament. They lost. They beat Minnesota, Michigan. They lost to Michigan State and Iowa. So those are your final five there. Northwest uh, Wildcats 22-11, and UConn 32-3. and uh, The over-under for this game is uh, 135.5, and the line is 13. So I'm going to go over on the over. I'm going to go over on the – 135, and I'm going to go under on the 13 and a half. So that's my opinion. What's up, Pierce? Appreciate you being been at the dealers all day. They, it's nothing, something that's quick that happens about that. Nothing happens quick about that. All right, here we go. Back to it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Where is that at? Get access. Where's your phone at? Get ready for a chips. They have better talent than us. Take 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 shots. <laughs> if if you if you're gonna get if you get a fast break, take it. If they score, walk the ball up and down the court. Do not get in a fast break scenario. But it's got to be controlled tempo by Northwestern. What was your chuckle about? Because if my coach told me that another team had more talent than me, that'd be the first time we'd have an argument in the locker room. But uh, <laughs> I, I just I, I I would have to have a. You always have a delusion of grandeur. You think that you're better than you are. Uh, but but I, I get what you're saying, Chuck. But I, I think overall, uh, what UConn is able to do, they're able to play fast. They're able to play slow. Yep. They can pound it inside. They can shoot the three. They're a complete basketball team. What you have to do is figure out a way to make one or two players uncomfortable, which is, hasn't been done much this year. 
Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, Northwestern has shown the ability to play. They knocked off Purdue. They made a bunch of threes, executed at a high level. That's what it's going to take. You've got to make shots. You've got to execute at a high level. Then you've got to compete in the areas where they have an advantage, where UConn does. That means rebounding the ball and trying to keep them out of transition. If you can do those things at a high level, that's a tall task. You've got a chance, but UConn just really doesn't have any flaws can win a lot of different ways. You guys know the uh, the tradition that Dan Hurley, the UConn head coach, has before every game? No. Uh, You're going to tell us. Eats eight M&Ms, but will not eat the ones that have the color of the opposing team. But I've never seen a purple M&M. So he doesn't have to go through <laughs> the good. selection process. <laughs> we'll take a quick time out. You didn't know that either, did you? No. Thank <laughs> me later. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. We we're on the mute there. Just wait. They pushed the game back about ten minutes. So one second, y'all, as I get it going here for y'all. This is a hot flash. This is a hot flash. Okay. But this is a not flash. Let's try that code again. It's the first and only prescription treatment that directly blocks the source of hot flash to light. With 100% hormone free zero blood, you can have fewer hot flashes and more not flashes. Mm -hmm. He also reduces the number of pairs of hot flashes day and night. So some women can start working in as early as one. Day. Thank you, Troy, for uh, becoming a member. Appreciate you. Employ it or take pick one into a period. Increased liver blood test values may occur. Your doctor will check them before and during treatment. But most common side effects include stomach pain, diarrhea, difficulty sleeping, and back pain. All right, we can watch now. Get cooking while getting your protein in. Yep. Make sure you hit that like button as you're coming in. We're trying to get to 50 likes here on the stream. Thank you, Troy. You're now eligible for emojis. We got some uh, Yukon emojis and Northwestern emojis as well. The game is going to be on True TV. Should be fun. With every new DNA, you can live to the max. Because it gets old at the max. <clears throat> so what do you think? Who's going to win this game? Let me see. You got your predictions in the chat already. UConn's going to... Yeah, 82% said UConn's going to win. If they look like the way they've been looking, they're going to win. Five empty chairs for that bad boy, so we'll fill one after this game. By the end of the night, everybody will be invited. But we've got uh, Northwestern taking on UConn. Coming up next here on True TV. Keep it right here, folks. Four minutes, yo. Four minutes. Coverage of the end. For tip-off, when we bring in the live audio of the game, we'll have the stat, true stats on here. We also have a, uh, over here, we have a real-time ticker as well. So you guys get to see the scores in the games. It looks like Georgia won their game, uh, baby. Georgia won their NIT game. You know what NIT stands for? Not in tournament. Thank you, Troy, for that membership. Dicks away. Husky's going to go roll. We'll see. Bluey might have a little say in that. We'll see. He's come back for a senior year or an extra year there, so we'll see. Make sure you check out my man, the Dixon Way, for all ATL sports. Make sure you check him out. The ATL Hawks does uh, Bulldog stuff. He's also doing uh, Atlanta Braves stuff, so make sure you check him out. Speaking of Atlanta Braves, we'll be opening day on Thursday. If you guys like baseball major league baseball right here on the channel play by play for the atlanta braves opening day against the phillies spencer strider start for against mike wheeler i believe 
But uh, as soon as the tip up comes here, a minute, about 30 seconds, we'll bring the audio to you as uh, Alabama and Grand Canyon you're playing and Clemson and Baylor. Clemson up. I didn't see that. I didn't see Clemson winning like they are. I did not see that. <clears throat> Got about a minute and 13 seconds left. We'll be bringing it to you. 89% says uh, ESPN said that UConn's going to win to 10% for Northwestern. Northwestern, uh, who'd they play? Who we just said I, they played? Northwestern. Um, FAU game. The FAU game. What Did y'all see at the end of that game where the – a FAU guy was walking up the court with like two seconds left to win the game. What was he thinking? And then over time, just, they just lost it. And Northwestern just kind of took over. So, but UConn's been dominating. Just sailing through their first game, put 90 some points on Stetson. We'll see what they can do here for UConn. About 20 seconds left, and we'll have the live audio of the game on True TV coming back at you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Full Sunday night in Brooklyn, New York, on the road to the Final Four. This is second round action from the East Region. The number nine seed, Northwestern, taking on the overall number one seed in the tournament, the Yukon Huskies. The winner advances to Boston to play the survivor of the San Diego State Yale game. Troy dropping the Huskies. TBS. Welcome, courts, out, everyone. Ian Eagle, Grand Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfs, and the rest of our crew. UConn has looked like an absolute juggernaut, not just in this tournament, the win over Stetson, but overall this season. Northwestern had a really impressive win in overtime over Florida Atlantic, but this UConn team has looked unstoppable at times. Right? Yeah, I mean, Dan Hurley has his team thinking about another title in large part because of the play of Donovan Klingon. 7-2, 280, great hands, efficient inside. He's the anchor on defense. Give him a presence inside, Raf. Grant's got the pink. Well, I got the guard. He can run the show, does whatever he has to. He's patient on the offensive end when they need him. He steps up. Dribble drive or to Trey. This kid is a big time performer. He is Boo Booey. He is Northwestern's all time leading scorer. Ooh, and he brings ooh. the experience along with Ryan Langborg, who had 27 points. The transfer from Princeton Those dogs. led the way in that <laughs> overtime Clark victory State. over Florida Atlantic in the first round. UConn, all five of their starters scored in double figures in the victory. Blowout went over Stetson. Chris Collins, this has been a renaissance for the program. Back to back appearances in the NCAA tournament back-to-back -back years in the second round. They lost to UCLA in the second round. The Bruins were a two-seed last year, 68-63. to 63. And Dan Hurley, national championship under his belt, sixth NCAA tournament as a head coach, two with Rhode Island, and this program is rolling right now. Joe Lindsay, Michael Irving, Bill Covington, our officials here the first ever meeting between UConn and Northwestern and the right to advance to the Sweet 16 is at stake. Chris Collins, a dookie that knows a lot about basketball. So what are you saying? No inverts. All right, UConn all in white. <laughs> and of course, Danny Hurley. Northwestern all purple, all silver trim with white. And right now it's Klingon jumping it up with hunger. Sorry, white trim. Tip off Nicholson right now. Very both. Out for the rest of the season. Northwestern, Northwestern wins the tip. Hyde Eagle. Right, here, right now, UConn Huskies go. Miniman. And right away, the matchup. Miniman. Kessel, terrific defender. Abu Bui. What they did in overtime against the Owls, they dominated the extra session to move on to the second round. Back in. Barnheiser brings toughness, fade away. And it's in and out. Rim, UConn. Klinger. And they need the big three to perform the two guards. And Barnheiser, they outscored. Florida Atlantic, 19 to seven in overtime. They had just 19 points at halftime and won the game over the Owls. Well, they shot 
in the second half and overtime, mm -hmm. Ian. And Thank so, you for that subscribe. continue with that kind of offensive execution, UConn, one of the top defensive teams in the country. And on they ball keep here. Bird on this offensive end, cutting, slipping, reading. Turnover, UConn. Bowie, turnover, UConn. They had just nine of them in the blowout victory over Stetson. Nice bounce. Yes. Oh. No foul call. Klingon gets a piece of it. Luke Hunger couldn't finish. Newton the other Coast way. Across Coast across UConn right up by two. Donovan Klingon, the ability right there to to erase a mistake. I mean, easy basket at the rim, but 7-2 with length and great timing. Execution. So important for Northwestern. Klingon averages 2.3 blocks per game. Northwestern ball. Way, Castle is on Bowie. Bowie, long distance three, no. Rebounded by Klingon. And they will attack that drop defense by Klingon. Spencer, keep it on the outside. Caravan, UConn shot 53%. Can't key on one guy. Equal opportunity team. They were dominant in the first round against the Hatters. Castle to the, the basket. Good. Good. And a foul. How about the strength? I mean, to be that young and that strong, Castle just takes his time and Four, takes on nothing. the contact. It updated. And a foul on Langborg. Used his offhand there Four to finish. Nothing. But right there on the, on the defense, Hunger could not come up because of the lob threat there to Klingon. So, once again, getting in screen and roll, getting downhill. UConn taking advantage. And an early change in the middle. Blake Preston checks in, replacing Luke Hunger. Preston is the grad transfer from Liberty. 5 nothing lead for the Huskies. 5 nothing he UConn the here. Make sure you hit that like button as you're coming in. Really, really active here, cutting. Wildcats, eighth in the country in three-point shooting, 39.3%. Bowie beat it. Preston. And again, Klingon, the influence. May not get credit for a block, but certainly alters the shot of Preston. Uh, this is too easy right here. Dump it in, make it home. And UConn, seven nothing Spencer, run. But the big fella makes people disappear with that wide frame. Seven nothing lead for UConn. Klingon establishing position and making it look like child's play. But he can run the floor too, gets settled early. The whole team on Bowie, now they back off. Castle, excellent defender, and a foul called on Castle. Second round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues on the ESPN Networks. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Even that little play now, Klingon went over and shut off that baseline drive. Very alert early on a D. But he's so big, he moves his feet defensively. Two, two for Northwestern misses. Pull-up doesn't go for Barnheiser. Spencer picked up by Martinelli, the sophomore. Switching everything now. Mismatch inside. I love it. Look at this here. beautiful play. Right to the basket. Tip in, Tip in and a foul. The cylinder. Won't count for Klingon. A little feeble oh, energy no. there. Pretty. Well, yeah. Exactly. Have you already advanced to the summer grant mentally? <laughs> no, I saw Sean Ford here. Uh, it's though, on True no. TV. Klingon's so big. Fruity Pebbles. Obviously, mm. almost came off, but in the cylinder. And that's going to be... A tough night. You know, look, Northwestern's played against height before Zach Eady twice. They yep. beat him this year, Purdue, but Eady's a different style. Big. He is. Klingon. Barnheiser. Nice it. It. Blocked by Klingon. Goes and and they got Preston. it in. They finally Cracks get their two points. For Northwestern. Barnheiser quietly gets things done. Terrific look. We asked Chris Collins about Barnheiser, and he said he's so unique. In addition to all the skills, he's built like a tank. Get it inside, Klingon missed it with a flutter. Missed it, Klingon the big man. Nice look to, by Newton to the correct hand. Langborg feed it. Brad transfer, Preston. One-on-one -on -one with Klingon. Uh, Bowie really doing a nice job, not giving touches to Bowie. Preston comes UConn, turnover Northwestern. Castle can get upstairs, and he smacks the backboard after the flush. So many guys can do so many things for UConn. Big Spencer slam by UConn. The break with a great find. And Rap Bowie is a guy who likes to get his stuff within the floor. I think he has to be hungry. Step up a little more. And, and really hunt his shot. Yes, he's not letting them get touches, though. Northwestern, one of seven from the field. UConn is four of six. Langborg trying to work against Newton, a long defender. Automatic switch right here. 
Got to go. Bowie, four, three. Bowie. Teardrop, no. Rebound. In and out Preston for Bowie. It, UConn rebound. By Newton and the Huskies. Watch them in the early for an open three. Spencer nice on the move. offense. The roll. Klingon. Klingon with a slam. The Huskies. Again, the ability to run the floor. And Ralph Klingon got tripped and still had the balance to finish. Klingon's got early. four. It's all UConn. All right, commercial break. First TV timeout. Appreciate y'all hanging out here. On the go at CeeLo is our YouTube channel. We've been doing NCAA basketball all year. I'm a big Orange fan. UT, Tennessee Vols. But uh, we like to bring some more NCAA content to you guys. We'll be doing also it on Thursday evening and then Friday evening for the Tennessee Vols game. But i uh, like to follow UConn as well through the rest of this tournament if I can. But we'll see how it goes. We followed UConn last year. Maybe some of y'all remember uh, we were here with us. Uh, we went to the all the way to the NCAA tournament championship game with them right here when they won the title. So if you guys would make sure you hit that like button. I predicted UConn to win our, in the bracket last year, won some money off of that, and I predicted them this year as well. But we'll see how it goes. But uh, appreciate y'all hanging out. Make sure you hit that like button. We're trying to get to 50 likes. That's our goal, 50 likes today. And uh, for the 74 that are here, we thank you for being here. Appreciate you. And then the, and the poll question, who is going? Who will advance, UConn or Northwestern? And 85% of y'all have said UConn. So it's going to be tough to stop Klingon. He is a big man down front. Just had that big slam. Uh, Clemson up 61-55 uh, on Baylor. That's interesting. Uh, and then Alabama and Grand Canyon all tied up at 28. What the heck? That's crazy. So keep on hitting that subscribe for us. If you like NCAA basketball, uh, we are an NCAA basketball channel. We've been, we cover, like I said, we cover the NC, uh, Tennessee Vols SEC play all year. Uh, but we like basketball around here. So we'll be bringing the audio back here in just a second here, guys. <clears throat> What's up, Daniel Barry? What's going on? How are you doing? I've had the CBS uh, sports song in my head for the last couple of days. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7. It's been all UConn energy so far. 11 2 lead. Send it over to Tracy. Ian, Dan Hurley is the king of superstitions, especially on game day. He has to have eight M&Ms before every game. He has to have a cup of bulletproof uh, coffee on the sidelines at all times and Butler. do not knock it over. And he has to wear the same suit and socks and shoes and, yes, the same red dragon underwear. And don't worry, it is clean. His wife, Andrea, travels with a portable washing machine. I mean, you can't make that up, Ian. Wow. And apparently they travel a... Maytag repairman with them as part of the crew. No, they do not. Uh, who has a portable washing machine? I didn't even know that existed. Uh, nice little float around. Basket in there. Is, uh, Four the points for Wildcats. I thought Bob, I say Bobby that? Hurley was high maintenance. Too, <laughs> Wildcats. He's the only coach I don't like to interview before the game. Yeah, this for is obvious reasons. This is the living version of Silver Linings playbook for the Yukon Huskies who now lead it 11-4. And Spencer with four assists already. Only gets a little over one a game. They all do what they have to do to win. Floated oh. upstairs, Clinton. Nice help there. And knocked out of bounds off of Hunger. 4.6 on the shot clock. We are in the first half. UConn leads it. Oh, another commercial. Got to love NCAA and the commercials. They do a crazy job with that. <clears throat> Frosty says a lot uh top seeds never been eliminated in the tournament so far. I have Yes, yes for the cats. We'll see. Who scored for Northwestern? Let's see, I'll tell you right now. Northwestern, uh two points for Martini and uh Bowie has two as well. <clears throat> no, he does not. He's 0 for 2 for the field. 
And then I guess there was somebody on the bench. Let me see who that is on the bench. That was. <clears throat> so another commercial. <clears throat> Eleven to four, and quickly for the percentage wise, eighty-three uh, percent for UConn, twenty-two percent for Northwestern. Both teams have not hit a three. Uh, two turnovers for North uh, for UConn, one for Northwestern. Six rebounds for UConn, only two for Northwestern. So how's y'all's brackets looking? How's the brackets looking for you guys tonight? Uh, I was in first place in mine, but it's still early. <laughs> 50 seconds, and we'll be back to the live audio for you guys. Another TV timeout. Gotta love those commercials. Clemson up 63-57 now on Baylor. And Alabama taking a two-point lead on Grand Canyon. Some more games coming up tonight after this. We got Texas A&M at Houston and Yale at San Diego State. And then we'll know our final four, our final Sweet 16 for next week's games, and we'll have a final four by the end of next Sunday. I'm Jamie Erdahl back in New York with this Get More with Geico game break. The Antelopes are rolling with Alabama right now. Grand Canyon had never won a tournament game. Now they're hanging around over on TBS. It's a three point game, I am. Running with Alabama. And, Jamie, we've seen some incredible scoring numbers in this tournament. Four teams uh, have no, scored you, over 100 points. A little bit of funny thing on YouTube. Zero if they in the do, last four tournaments for do so the latest right with 106 here. points We're in the win over Utah True State. TV. Top two seeds remain unbeaten. UConn and Houston still to play. And the Big East, 5-0. and oh. Creighton, Marquette have advanced. UConn trying to join them there in the Sweet 16. And Connecticut with the R on the floor, they have back up to UConn. each spot. The Orange can get after people. Having trouble getting it in. Lob it in. Caravan feeds it for Spencer. Has to work quickly. The floater is short. Oh, in and a box out there off the side. Now they got numbers here if they hurry. Good look. Barnizer. Got to make that short. Hunger keeps it alive. Grabbed by Klingon. Hassan Diara is in the game for UConn. Diara gets a free. Look at this. Leaves it for Klingon. He's slammed by the big man, Klingon. Klingon. The patience of Diara, but once again, Klingon, get those puppies up and down. 12 of their 13 points have come in the paint, and it's 13-4, Northwestern down. But we love that floater. There's that drop deep that we got to push. So Diara was there physically. That's another man down for Northwestern. Langborg turnover. The delay here. Spencer drives. Mr. Coles, and Spencer. What they're doing defensively right now, Raph. The physicality on the defensive end is overwhelming the Wildcats. And their ability to create turnovers and get down. And multiple guys can make plays and make reads. Danny Hurley pushes buttons. Goodness. Do they respond? A bad angle on the entry. And a turnover. Ball out of bounds. That's the third Northwestern turnover of the half. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Download right now to stay up to date on all the action. Dan What's Hurley's up? team. What's going Seven on, man? History game. NCAA tournament wins by 13 Watching this game. Or more. That's UConn. the longest streak UConn wanted some money last history. year. Always favorite to my heart. That's how dominant they've been. It's amazing. It really is. Uh, that we all talk about. They started with D and rebounding, and some of the work on offense. Newton couldn't hit the jump. Big three Samson by UConn Johnson. missed. The big is in for UConn. And they went after the loose ball there. Castle returns to the Northwestern. Huskies. Luke Smith on the floor, too. Really good defender. Bowie crosses, low dribble, kick, corner. Smith, should have shot the it. Walk on drives, passed up the shot. Hurley wanted yep. to travel. Langborg is having a tough time. They UConn really defense is strong. Yeah, so almost had a steal. Five seconds on the shot clock. Bowie. Defender. Nice. Bowie gives it up. Smith tries to duck in. 
couldn't get it to go. Yeah. Diara in a rush up the floor. Watch the delay three. Caravan off the oh, heel. Missed and by Caravan. For Bowie. And this defensive line about here right now is swarming out there for UConn. Look at them trap the ball and then recover. Northwestern you think is two UConn's winning the whole thing? From the field. No easy I think looks. so too. Got to attack and get to the line somehow. They need offense. Smith can't provide it. Missed Northwestern it. can't hit a basket. 15-4, Huskies. If they don't run, they run great sets as well. Caravan nice bounces. Newton hangs. That's in there. And a foul in the point. Three-point play coming up. As happy as if he made a three with that pass. They cut. They're unselfish. They know how to finish plays on top of their game. That's why they've been number one. Big three-point play coming up here on a free throw for UConn as they go up 15-4. to four. Northwestern can't buy in a basket here. So make sure you're hitting that like button. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the stream, 50 likes on the stream. But most importantly, hit the subscribe if you like NCAA basketball. We'll try to bring some more uh yukon games or northwestern games whoever advances here uh they will want to be our backups for the tennessee uh volunteers or our normal team going at it but we'll see what happens fruity pebbles Okay, sorry, I had to ask the question there. But don't we bring the audio back here in just a second, 38 second, minute and 38 seconds left. If you want to check out our social medias, we have a good list of them here for you. On the go at CeeLo is our Facebook page. We're posting everything on that. Though this is kind of a pop-up kind of thing. We're just going to plan this out of the blue. CeeLord16 is our Twitter. We're streaming on that right now, so make sure you give us a follow and a retweet and a heart on the stream. And on the post, on the go at CeeLo1 is our Instagram, and on the go at CeeLo is our TikTok. We're also streaming on Twitch right now. On the go at CeeLo is all one word, but those are our social medias. So make sure you're checking me out, liking me, follow me, whatever, so you know when we go live the next time. So there is our social media. We're going to be back to the audio here in just a second, about 50 minutes, 50 seconds, and uh, get some more folks in here. 17 to 4 UConn uh, as they are. Looking to move on to the Sweet 16. And Baylor uh, is still losing to Clemson 66-62. And Alabama up 38-30 on um, Grand Canyon. Who do you think going to win? I think UConn's going to win this thing. I, I don't think Bowie can take this upon himself like he did against FAU. Uh, I don't think he can do it. I don't think one man can control it. So I'm in Chicago, so we're automatically Wildcat fans, Northwestern University in Evans, Evanston, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. There you go. Talked to me yesterday and said you wanted to wear them down early. How about the physicality and defense your team has played with so far? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're playing really, really hard and, Obviously picking them up and getting into them and making everything difficult. And those three perimeter guys are big time players. So uh gotta take away the three-point line and we've got to try to wear down their lack of depth. Appreciate it. All right, Tracy, there's a deep connection here between both head coaches, Dan Hurley, his dad, Hall of Famer Bob Hurley, watching on from behind the Yukon bench. You've got Chris Collins, his dad, Doug Collins on hand. Doug, a finalist for the Hall of Fame. And Chris and Dan have talked about that bond, being coaches' sons and knowing what is expected of you from a basketball standpoint. And you know, they talk glowingly about their fathers and the imprint that they made. How about sounding boards, though? Somebody to chat to that's been through it, yeah. knows the game, knows how to deal with youngsters. Martinelli drives in on Castle. They're looking oh, to go. They get it on the floater. They're going to have to create on their own. They Big hit. Their sense, but the adjustment is Martinelli. magnificent by UConn. So it's got to be some individual effort. Bowie in particular. 18-6. Huskies. 
screen from Johnson. Newton uses it for the second time. Look at that fake. Castle, the adjustment. It doesn't go. It doesn't the go, man. Nice screen off. Castle almost had it there. Here's Bowie. You said it best, Rap, but the problem is Northwestern, other than Bowie, really, they're not a one-on-one -on -one team. Exactly. UConn's taking them all out of their offense as Bowie draws a foul. Send it over to Tracy. Well, I mean, you guys were talking about Chris Collins and all. Danny Hurley being coaches' sons. I spoke with Hurley about it yesterday. He told me they just understand each other. They can relate to how each grew up in gyms with their fathers, how their whole lives have been about basketball, and the expectations that come with that. And their fathers, they have both just been part of their lives and part of their coaching careers. And Chris told me he has such respect for Danny. They will always have this connection. But today, of course, they are competitors. Yeah, and as Rap Western mentioned, ball here, they bottom baseline, the going to the paint. There's the early connection here as well. Bob Hurley made the guy next to us. Well, I'm sure it did a little on your own, but uh, hunger <laughs> you draws didn't mind the him foul. Ball, did you? I, I didn't For mind it. Northwestern. How lucky are both these guys, Dan Hurley, Chris Collins, to grow up in those households, to learn from these incredible basketball players. Shout out to Doug Collins, who also was an incredible basketball player. He sure was. First pick in the 1973 NBA draft. My father told me to shoot free throws shoot off the glass. Shoot three from Northwestern. <laughs> he thought Brick. that was the best path for you. He said Sam, jo Sam Jones used the backboard. <laughs> from UConn. Good enough for Sam Jones, good enough for Grant Hill. Well, you were smart enough not to put a helmet on. That's true. Right. He'll pick the three on UConn, about to shoot it. Did not. Trace and kicks. Stewart is in, the freshman from Seattle, Washington. They do such a great job with blur screen. Look at this roll here. Johnson so quick. Come up empty. Missed it on the interior. He this actually gets ahead of himself. He's so quick. Look at the show. And he's back. Nothing easy for Bowie. Bowie's all they got. It for a moment. Hunger now. 15 to shoot. Makes his move. Hunger. Bank shot is good. Good. Go. Hunger back. Something else. Somebody else got 18, to 18, 8, 8 is 10. Up. Gotta Thanks have a for the subscribe. For the offensive end. That is the first what's two up? of the night for Luke Sarah D, Hunger. what's up? Stepping in for the injured Matthew Nicholson, who is out with a foot injury. And Burry, two starters not here. That's why Chris has done such a great job. Ball fake. Spencer, pull up. Off the rim. Rebounded by Off the Martinelli. rim for UConn. 18-8. Huskies, we are just past the halfway point of this first half. Creighton is an elite offensive team. The they haven't Stay seen a steady. defense like Tennessee will wear you down. They will. Three guys that Tennessee will, but Barnheiser. they Gets almost lost to Texas, rip. and Texas had 6-17 turnovers. Early offense. Stripped to the ball, Johnson. And a foul the on the way, Northwestern. The he ran UConn the right there. Two. Impressive. Couch or courtside, refresh your fandom with a delicious Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try and decide. Klingon, Caravan, Newton, all back in. Sure do There's miss Jim so many Gymnasium. ways they can play, Bird. They'll play small with Caravan at the five spot. They won't play the two bigs together. I don't think I've seen that all year long. Talking about Klingon and Johnson. Yeah. Nice little screen by Spencer. This, this Klingon. Is gorgeous. Klingon again. Just so easy. Klingon. Eight Great points for Klingon. To secure it. Not just that pass. In general. And then rolling to the rim. And does it in a fluid manner. And Ralph, I love how he keeps the ball high. Never brings it down for the, the smalls to stripe it away. They needed that three. Another Bornheiser. miss by Can't Northwestern on a three. The screen out by Klingon. Watch him with the early screen and roll. Clemson and Baylor coming down to the wire over on TNT. They do a great job. 64 over there. Screening. Get you going one Both way, teams haven't hit a three yet. Slip here. Pull it feed, runs into a wall. Barnheiser. And a foul call. Cam Spencer needs a moment. Yeah, I was just going to say he got hit. I thought Barnheiser was there. How about this play? Just love it. The ability with the screen, the bump, and the big fella. Deceptive because of his size with his speed and length. And I remember last year during the tournament run at the Final Four, you were really oh, exactly. big on clinging. Uh, if Tennessee could hit the threes the, bench, the other night, it would have like been by 50 points. Look at this. Uh, set nobody play. home. Kim nobody. Spencer Easy bucket for Spencer. For and it was Sunoco that sort of stole the thunder from him. You know, everybody. He was such Spencer's a got player. four. They had Sunogo. They had Jordan Hawkins. They had Andre Jackson. They were stacked. Barnheiser. He can't buy one. And that's his shot. He loves to get in that paint. Wonder if Cleveland's Three for three. Bowie, short, 
tipped up in the air. Martinelli couldn't finish. Knocked out of bounds. Off of On ball. Western. Bowie, Barnheiser, Lundborg are a combined 0 of 9. That's what they're going to have to do. Get Bowie to knock some shots down. A little confusion there on out of bounds. Played defensively from the this Wildcats. Utah, UConn team is scary. Once Blake again, says, this precise yes. execution. I love how hard they cut. They're unselfish. They make the right reads. Chikador from the Philippines. What's going on? Says UConn, UConn. Look to Klingon. Spencer couldn't get it to him. Look at the ball moving we'll going side to side. Newton misses Another on a miss three by ball. UConn from the three. Langbord. Both teams no easy scoreless from the three-point line. Langborg, swing it, pressed it. Langborg, he's just not getting any open space. A fade, and that one. Good. He found himself for a moment free to take Langhorn that Langhorn with shot. a good. Shocked. Langborg, first points of the night. No points for Kornheiser, none for Bowie. Baskin, you got it. it in. They worked all summer on offense. You mentioned it the other night, Bird. And all of a Newton sudden, with a lay in. Matched that defensive intensity and rebounding. 22 of the 24 points in the paint. Bowie, lots of moves. Bowie, Bowie got rejected by Klingon. Two for the price of one. A monster performance early. Castle on a kick. Newton with the ball. Newton, skip. Spencer one on one with Martinelli, 12 to shoot. And no bad shots, but interesting. There's Newton. Kick. Castle. Short. Oh, and he jammed it. Wedgie. <laughs> How wedgie is he called it? For the layman. That's, That's the, the only thing, thing that hasn't worked for you, Connor. <laughs> oh. We get the wedge in the burrow. The wedge in the burrow, as we call it. 24-10, UConn doing it in the paint tonight as the three is not working over there. Both teams haven't hit a three yet. Uh, Percentage-wise, though, 57% from the field for UConn and a miserable 22% for Northwestern coming out cold for these Wildcats. Uh, it's going to be tough to come back on this strong team, but make sure you're hitting that like button for us as you're coming in. We're trying to get to 50 likes on our stream tonight. But most importantly, keep on hitting that subscribe. We're trying to get to 10,550. This is our second stream of the day. We did a NASCAR race this afternoon. If you like NASCAR, make sure you join our, our community. We have a great community of NASCAR fans, and we try to bring you every Sunday the NASCAR Cup Series. Anything NASCAR we're talking about on our channel. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate all the love today. And uh, 113 of us here watching this UConn game as UConn up by 14. But uh, Klingon, he's just dominating already. A uh, bunch of blocks and uh, big man down front. He's got a couple slams already. Uh, looking at the scores over here, 72-64. Clemson has moved on. They beat Baylor 72-64. And then uh, at half, at the half, Bama, the Crimson Tide, is up 38-30 on Grand Canyon. So, we also have a uh, live ticker here for you, keeping all the scores on NCAA basketball with the NIT plus the NCAA tournament right there. So you'll never miss your scores right there. We have up-to-date stats below here on both teams, both teams here below that. And then all the way on the other side, oh, on the other side over there, uh, way over there uh, is our, the team stats. So Everything to keep you updated to the up-to-date scores and on this game. So, hope everybody's having fun. They're going to win, UConn says. They're going to win. We'll see. Up to bat. But here we go. Back to it. Live audio. S Army. Be all you can be. Grammarly. Easier said. Done. And by AT&T. Connecting changes everything. You talk to me, Coach, about yesterday dictating pace. They've been able to dictate yeah. the pace so far. How do you get back to playing on your terms? Well, we have to settle down a little bit. You know, we're really excited to play. I thought it showed ourselves. We missed some layups early. 
we've allowed them to get it in transition and, and get a lot of layups and dunks. When we've set our defense, we've been pretty good. we got to do a much better job of that. It's a long game. we just got to hang in there and keep competing. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. right, Tracy, thank you. We've talked about the connection, Grand Hill, with the Hurley family. You go way back with the Collins family as well. Oh, no question. First of all, I played with Chris for two years at Duke. We got to a NCAA championship game, lost to that great Arkansas Razorback team. Then I played for his dad, Doug Collins, had three great years in Detroit. Inbound with here, UConn with the ball. So definitely that family connection. With Newton to the basket. You've got the full Gives it to Klingon. He just throws you've it up the full and gets a special fouled. Special shout out to Chris's younger sister, Kelly Collins, or Kelly. Uh, she's married now, but she played at Lehigh and uh, so certainly knew the the family very well, and just a brilliant basketball mind, Doug Collins. Great coach. Great, great analyst. Great yeah. analyst. Uh, you've had a few Tom Collins in your lifetime. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's you. That's a whole other graphic we have for you. But he loves the game. He Looking does. with a shot here. Great so pass. I'm in Good. Tom Myers a couple of years ago when Northwestern was in the tournament with him, and he is a gamer still. Second foul on Barnheiser. Klingen, Klingen nine the points. Throw line. The lead is 15. Klingen shoots it. At 57%, but the stroke is pretty good. Mm. Well, we, we were talking the other night. Inside the three-point line, the stroke we go, is Northwestern with the ball. Outside, bringing it on he pulls it, but he is going to be a fine Barnheiser, point zero points, two this fouls for Northwestern. This is the largest Western. lead of the night for the Huskies. 6.25 to play first half. Nice set here. Langor oh, feeds up. Curry for Northwestern. Oh, air ball. Caught by Klingon. Klingon, another oh, rebound. Seven, rebound. Good eight, seven, and four blocks. What a first half for the big guy. And they are 0 of 7 from three-point territory. They're top 10 in the nation in three-point shooting. Number 8 at 39.3. They can't make one tonight. Hunger trying to be a little more physical. There's that drop D. Newton kick. Spencer. Short. Short on the three. The nice hustle Carver over there, but out of bounds. It. Always North do the right thing on offense. Be prepared for history ball. to be written, hearts to be broken, one champion to be chosen in the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL on TNT playoff coverage begins April 20th on TBS and Max. 26 to 10. Gotta Huskies. Get, gotta get this guy going somehow. Bowie has been held scoreless. 0 of 4. He averages just under 20 per game. Floater, no. And we tried to get it up. And Klingon another clears. rebound Spencer by the big the man. Feed it. Caravan. Rims oh. out the three ball. And Caravan misses. Both teams still scoreless from the three-point line. I like the weekend in the lane, though. He's got to be persistent. Nice slip pass. Hunger drives and scores. A set up. Big Ten basketball. Hunger with a basket. Hunger did a great job, though. Shielding Klingon. Give him a little bump to create some space. And that finish, but I, I like this screen and roll action. They're going to have to stick with We're that. We're with four. To some Points to the paint, 22 for UConn. Six to 12, five minutes to go, first half. Thank you for that subscribe. There's a stagger. Dribble handoff. <laughs> Off a pin down. I mean, just keep you busy. New York native, Diara. Good bounce. Yes. Great field oh. Newton. That's the cutting that complements their sets. They read things. They just know where they're supposed to be and where each other are. So that's the 10th assist for UConn. They have 12 field goals. Now Luke Murray up on the sideline. He was the scout for this thing. They had it. Ready Three for Northwestern Shorts. This is from three-point territory. Another rebound the by Clean. Of seven from downtown. Newton, shake it, but missed it. Rebound. My gosh. Clean it. Powers in with the left hand. How smart is he? Playing in with the, the rebound and his own points in. Shoulders seals the big. He's going to have like double double here in just a second. Stop it! <laughs> his presence. Everywhere. Double double for Klingon already. Sides. It's just ten ten. The last couple of weeks he has stepped his game up though. Klingon, as good as he's been. Martinelli push shot. It goes. Martinelli so finally gets some points. With Twelve points. Northwestern just went over twelve points with that Martinelli bucket. He has scored six. Now, this is the end that's been hurting them. In particular, Northwestern. You know, to talk a little bit, get through screens, and don't relax off the ball. It's a lot of like misdirection this. action. Yep. UConn 28 and 1 in their last 29 non conference games. They have just been a dominant program. Kick it. Diara. Just three, three again. Rebound, rebound Northwestern. And three guys blocking out, clinging on that last play. Yeah, hunger one of them. UConn, by the way, 0 of 8 from three point range, and then Clinton. Air comes ball, up Northwestern. Here comes UConn. He gets Bowie. 
Neither team has made a three. Don't Spencer with the three. Spencer got a three. He is a joy to Spencer. watch. Spencer. Forget lacrosse, huh? Cam Spencer's brother, Pat, played. Oh, Todd Rowley says. Under Chris Collins, former lacrosse star now with the Golden State Warriors. Barnheiser missed it from three-point territory. Another miss by Ofer. Ofer. And gets the foul and the three-point play coming up this team. for UConn. They are on a mission. And they are husky strong. Woo. Houston, we have a problem. Renov, Bob, 340326 for the, for the subscribe. As UConn rolling in the first half, 35-14. Wow. Wow, wow. Don't mess with UConn, man. They are blowing it out. Roll Tide roll at half, 38-30. And uh, we've got a couple more games coming up here tonight. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Huskies. Sarah D says Huskies. So we'll see what happens. 156 of us here. Maybe we can get some more folks in here. Hit that like button. Trying to get to 100 likes. Maybe we can get there with over 150 of us here. No reason we can't hit the like button if you like what you see. If you like the Huskies, make sure you hit the like button if you like. Those Wildcats hit the like button as well. Uh, but coming up this week, next Thursday night, we'll be having uh, some more NCAA tournament action for you. And then Friday, uh, some Tennessee basketball against Crichton in the Sweet 16 will be right here as well. So hope everybody's having a great, great day. And then uh, hope you're ready for the Monday Blues as the next work week begins. But uh, uh Major League Baseball kicks off on Thursday for lots of teams. So that should be, we're going to be bringing live audio for uh, and play by play for the Atlanta Braves. We do play by play for the Atlanta Braves baseball team here on the channel. So this is our third year doing baseball here. So that should be fun. Uh, Tennessee Volunteer fan. And when the hockey starts, I'm an NHL fan. Uh, Nashville Predators will be doing uh, the Nashville Predators hockey Stanley Cup action here as well. So. Hopefully we make it to the Stanley Cup. We'll see. Uh, it's a travesty that only three Big East teams made the tournament. But they're undefeated. I liked your channel, but my heart is hurting. I understand. I understand, Frosty. <laughs> I understand. Uh, Northwestern has come out cold. You're not going to win a game at 25% from the field and no three-pointers. Now, this could be ugly if UConn was hitting the threes. I think he just did hit one, so it hasn't updated that. But maybe it wasn't a three-point line. Maybe his foot was on the line. But 35-14 is the score. And some of the points here, you got Klingon with 12. You got Castle with five. You got Newton with nine. And uh, you got Spencer with seven. He's one for three. from the So, the, so UConn only has one three-pointer. And Ofer for Northwestern. Uh, Barnheiser is 0 for 8 from the field. Bluey 0 for 6 from the field and their leaders. To the Sweet 16 for just the second time in 26 years. Not without a stressful close over Baylor, though. The Tigers had a 15-point lead, but didn't fit a field goal down the stretch. Seven minutes still held oh, off Harper the Bears. Whaley, thanks for the subscribe, too. Yeah, thank you, Jamie. So, ACC is undefeated in the first and second round, but Virginia lost in the first four. Keep that in mind. So there is a blemish on the ACC schedule. Our game summary finally a three-pointer went down. UConn is one of nine. Northwestern has taken an over. They just changed that foul. It was originally on Barnheiser and they've given it so the to three-point play happens. But UConn is up by 22 points with 234 to go in the first half. Speaking of hunger, this UConn team is playing hungry. Very much so. Like, Look at this. You're right. It's not a team that's fat after winning and having a great championship last year. I've been impressed with their purpose, their intensity, and just how well they play. Ben Moo for Northwestern. Old school doesn't get a rebound. Justin Mullins Newton. is now in the game for Northwestern. Chris Collins is just looking for some live bodies. It's Castle out front. That means Bowie is dealing with Caravan. Switch. Sansa gives him a different look. Now watch him sprint there to the ball screen. Castle, swing it. Spencer, shot clock at four. Screen. Gotta shoot it. Johnson. 
High pass. Diara has to chuck it. It'll An air ball shot, shot clock violation. violation. Good defense coming there up, for Northwestern. AT&T half scores. Highlights latest NCAA tournament news. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. And was that the best that defensive means, possession uh, there I'm a huge fan. And maybe a I poor mean, I'm from Knoxville, just <laughs> saying. I agree. They didn't look efficient there. They, they didn't get into their action until about 15. Awesome, Evan. Block. I was in Knoxville this weekend. I was on campus. Just run so much stuff. Man, look, Thanks for watching, man. Appreciate Evan. As a freshman, we'll see what happens yeah, on Friday. Strong to Northwestern ball here. Northwestern is seven of 30 from the field. That's 23 percent. Boo Booey takes it off the glass. No good, but a foul. He had a foul. Booey went with to the, the basket. The got fouled. Not an easy job. Tough on Bowie, too, because you can really concentrate on him with this kind of a lineup. With two former starters out, unfortunately, with injuries. Well, smart for Bowie right there, knowing clinging is out of the game. Getting to the paint right there. I think of some of those misses at the rim have been because of the presence of Donovan Kling. Northwestern averaging 73.8 points per game. Oh, yeah, if we don't, for the if we, I just read that rest of what you said. If we don't shoot the threes, yeah, they we're are going to be hard pressed to crack 20 in this first half after scoring 19 in the first half against Florida Atlantic the other day. First back-to-back -back appearances in the big dance for the Northwestern Wildcats. They've never been to the Sweet 16. When Bird, you, you look at this Bowie gets his first points of the night. The big 10 each of the last two seasons and third in total wins during that time, only behind Purdue and Illinois. So. He's done a great job. He really has, building that program. And Bowie had 22 against Florida Atlantic. First unanimous pick from Northwestern ever wow. on the Big Ten. Shoot three. First team. Caravan. Caravan with a three. Where have you been? <laughs> He's the only guy not stepping up. And that's Caravan the with the big three. Of the night for Alex Caravan. 39-16, UConn. Martinelli. Looking to drive it. Caravan using the body. He's back to that left. He's very good. Going to that right go basket for Northwestern. With the clever shot over Caravan. Now with Chris's background with the Olympic team and the NBA people, I think they'll ride that a little bit. Of course, he coached. See, see this? They just want to have it for the last shot. They're so smart. There's a half second difference. Shot clock, the game clock. They're playing it the right way. This is when you know that the head coach is last possession the right here. The half. Make sure you stick with us at halftime. Carrying out their going over stats and highlights. Not a lot of mistakes. We didn't see any basically against Stetson. Uh, Dan Hurley did. We didn't necessarily. Right. <laughs> well, to the layman, it's a little different. Yes. Kick. Diara, two seconds, one, hot step, oh left hand, God. draws the foul. And With he got a foul. Four on the shot clock. And he just has a burst about him. The ability to change speeds. He falls in the NIT. You know what that you know what what NIT shot, stands for? <laughs> he doesn't play like this. Not in uh, tournament. Reminds me of an old UConn player from way back, John, John Gwynn. Oh, I do. Boy, your memory's good. Yeah, just he was strong, tough. could score. And he's like the sixth man, as you said. Incredible talent, incredible cohesion with this group. Two national prep titles at Putnam Science Academy. Diara spent two years hit. of his high school 40 career to at Holy 18. Cross in Queens. And he has another year of eligibility, so not sure what the plan is. He did take part in senior day up in Storrs, Connecticut. Big East sixth man of the year. And that one is off. He misses and that one. End it. In his first half, Donovan Klingon, 12 points, 11 rebounds, five double, double blocks, a monster performance for a monster program. 40 to 18, the Huskies leading Northwestern out of the Big Ten. Send it over to Tracy. Well, Danny, on Friday, you were up big and you were still frustrated. So you're up big again. How are you feeling after this first half? <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's called the, the not in of tournament. Playing against Benjamin, thanks for that subscribe. In the Big Ten, uh, you know, I feel a lot better, but we've got a lot of work to do. Donovan Klingon, he's had 12 points, 11 boards, five blocks. How impressed are you with his performance so far? Well, he got healthy, you know, later in the year and. You know, he's one of the most impactful players in the country, if not the most. And, uh, you know, he's really, uh, you know, really rattled them uh, at their offensive end. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, Tracy, end of the first half in Brooklyn. The UConn Huskies continue to put on a show. 
40 to 18 lead over Northwestern. We'll send it to AT&T at the half coming up after these messages. All right, at the half already, 40 to 18, really quick half. Uh, appreciate all the ones that are hanging out with us. Appreciate you hitting that like button for us. Trying, there's our 50th like. Let's see if we can get to 70 likes or 100 likes now. 100 likes is our new goal. Keep hitting that like button for us. See if we can get 100 likes tonight on this Yukon Huskies versus Northwestern Wildcats live stream. Um, we'll, let's let, we'll wait till the uh, break comes back here. And uh, we'll see what they talk about the game. And then we'll go over some highlight stats of both teams, team stats, box scores, scores around the nation, talk about some commercials of our good friends, and then uh, we'll be ready for the second half. So uh, all UConn right now, 40 to 18. And Alabama leads Grand Canyon 42-33 in the second half. Coming up tonight, Texas A&M, another SEC team. And against going against Houston and then Yale, that one of us trying to be a Cinderella going against San Diego State. Go Huskies! That's right, coming from the Philippines over there. Appreciate you being here as well. So, <clears throat> thanks for Troy. Thanks for becoming a, a member as well. If you want to become a member for tonight, for the rest of the second half, I do have some emojis here for you guys. I don't have that one. Let's go back and do that one. Huskies, go for. There you go. Those are your uh, emojis we have for members, if you like those. Let's go Alabama, Richard says. SEC, SEC. Tennessee playing, already done played this weekend. They will be playing on Friday against Creighton, and these teams will be playing on Thursday. These teams here that are playing tonight will be playing on Thursday. You would think they would just keep them on a good schedule so no one's short. But I guess they kind of reward the ones that went first, so it's kind of a flip, I guess. We're at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Northwestern is getting smoked. They are. They are getting smoked. All right, here we go. Back to it. Listen in. Connect to the madness. Connecting changes everything. Reigning champs are pick and rolling. <laughs> 40 to 18 with the lead over Northwestern as we welcome you to AT&T at the half. Ernie Johnson, got Clark Kellogg here, Kenny the Jet Smith, and... Charles Barkley. So the Huskies, by my count, have played 60 minutes of basketball so far in the two games, have not trailed yet, and it hasn't even been close. Ernie, we said going in, Northwestern had to play a perfect game to win or keep it close. This team, they have no weaknesses. You know, Kenny and Clark both talked about it. They can beat you inside. They can beat you outside. They can beat you fast. They can beat you slow. <laughs> and by all accounts, if you can win all the all those <laughs> You got all the blocks covered. You got all the blocks covered. <laughs> you got all the bases covered, man. What do no you doubt. think, Clark? Impressive. And um, Donovan Klingon, he's a difference maker. I mean, he's not as big as Zach Eady, but he's as impactful in terms of his shot blocking, how he can catch it and finish inside. He's pretty active. And they take good advantage of him. Pick and roll action there. Gets out of the roll pretty quick for a guy of his size. Thank you size. for that super chat, Rim Sarah, runs. for 99 cents. I appreciate and you. And Tristan Newton. Thank you, Sarah. He's on the Bob Cousy finalist list for point guards. And, again, there's just not much you can say about the Huskies in terms of where are they weak, what is their soft spot, and you look at the numbers for Donovan Klingon, and he's on par with the – Wildcats in his individual columns. You yeah. see that? North, minus six uh, and, and North, minus four on the glass. Northwestern coming off a game in which they scored 19 points in the first half. Eventually won that uh, game Richard, in overtime yeah, we'll by the scoring Friday 19. Game for you. But an 18-point first Friday, half here. For sure. Yeah. You know, with them, you know, I'll, I'll pose this to both of you guys. With, those, we'll see with them being the probably the game. most impressive wins, both wins, what is the Achilles heel, Achilles heel 
of the Yukon Huskies. They don't have an Achilles. I don't think they have a weakness that you can exploit. It's going to take a special... Because they've team. got speed, they defend, they can play any So tempo. they cannot be beat. No, 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 no I no, didn't no, say no, that. No, no, we didn't say that. Yeah, we, yeah. we didn't say that. When you said they'll have no weakness. They don't have a weakness, but that means... If you, you say have, a super... Uh, if you stitch, know, uh, no, uh, William Byron have no weakness, let me, let me finish my point. Can't be beat. No, no, that means you can't be beat. There's some kryptonite the out there, that brother. Has to, the team that plays them and beats them is going to have to play at a high level. Yes. That's what's going to have to happen. There's not anything particularly that you take away or do there. to beat... You're going to have to play a high-level basketball game. That means you're going to have to rebound at a high clip. You're going to have to defend, make shots. Those are the things. It's going to come down to that because I don't see any other way you can knock them out. So what, are you, what would you say is their weakness? I, I would say the way you have to beat them is I think you have to speed the game up because you have to get – you can't allow uh, Kling, uh, Donovan Klingon to be – you have to have to make him run free throw line to free throw line and not baseline to baseline. So if you speed the game up, he has less possessions. So now – Less now possessions. I want to speeding the game no, up no. will give him less, less him, possessions. Him personally. Okay. So but he now, won't have the size. But now of... my one, two, three, and four mm -hmm. against your one, two, and three, and four. Yeah, but he won't. Oh, you're I, trying to take him out of the game. I'm taking him out of the game. Yeah, but, but he can rim up. run. He's not a. Yeah, but he's not going to rim run but, all but, game. But, but, but also. Okay. I, well, that's I, that's what I want to Okay. I don't think it's. Like I said, there's a good debate. Good barbershop debate. He won't have that size advantage against every team either, Kim. Barbara Eden. Bayless, Charles, Bayless. Thank you, Barbara Keep your eye on Eden. Subscribe. <laughs> I appreciate you. Charles, wave. Throw some order in the studio God. here. Get the highlights. Let's go. Clemson and Baylor. Uh, how about how about the Tigers of Clemson hey. going wire to wire against Baylor? Hey, today? I tell you what, this team is balanced, and I saw them when they were playing their best early in the season. They kind of hit a bit of a lull, and now they're playing high-level basketball. That's Ian Shefflin. He's outstanding. Can score inside and out. They've got good size on the perimeter, but Baylor, Jacoby Walter, as they make their comeback from a double-digit deficit, this thing got snug. Ray J. Dennis almost squeezed it to get to within one. Then it became making free throws, and Baylor and Clemson did just that, and they move on to the S16. First time, since, out too. first time since 2018, they get Arizona. Mm. Well, yeah. that's going to be a grown man game. Yes, indeed, <laughs> it will be. How about Alabama and Grand Canyon? Mark Sears pulling up for three for the tie. Yeah, he was rolling. This kid is outstanding, shooting threes. And, oh, I'm sorry, we missed her. No, there's the your follow through. There it is. Mom is. Yeah, she knows what, what she does. does. Yeah. Exactly. Tie on Grant Foster. You like the look of his game, Chuck? I, I love the look of his game. But the difference in this game, I thought it would be a three-point shoot test contest in Alabama. But they have played great defense, and the Lopes have not dominated inside like I thought they would. That's why they're down. Alabama's been fantastic on the defensive end. Grand Canyon, I thought they'd have an advantage inside, but Alabama was outscoring them in the paint, which is a, which I thought Alabama would win a three-point shooting contest, which they are still leading a little bit. But I thought Grand Canyon would dominate in the paint at the half. Alabama was ahead. If that stays the same, Alabama's going to win that game. Yep, uh, just a six-point game with a whole lot of time to play in that one. Back with more AT&T at the half in just a sec. All right, so let's take a look really quick at the miserable stats for Northwestern here. You got it on the screen for you to see. Eight for 31 from the field for Northwestern. 16 for 30, 50 for over 50% for UConn. Anytime you shoot over 50%, you are going to win this game no matter what. But let's take a look deeper into the stats to see why it's 40 to 18. Uh, there's one reason. Uh, well, both teams aren't really doing for three. 0 for 8 for Northwestern. They cannot get anything going. Uh, three per percentage, zero. And then UConn not really doing well at either, 18%. Uh, free throw percent, uh, UConn going to line a lot, six, to seven, six for seven. And then uh, rebounds, got 15 for 21 on the rebounds. Thank you so much for that $2 super chat. Uh, Fr Fruity Pebbles, thank you for the stream tonight. You're welcome, Fruity Pebbles. You are welcome. Much, much welcome. Thank you for the, su the super chats, guys. We are monetized by YouTube, so if you like to help out the channel, that is the way to do it. We appreciate you. Uh, total turnovers, three for Northwestern, only two for UConn, so that's not it. Where is the difference here, the 40 to 18? Points in the paint, 20 to a 12. The turnovers are not good. Just not make the. So I guess it's the field goal percentage. That is the difference here in this game. Everything else is the same. 
So largest lead for uh, most points on the for Northwestern is Martin, Martin, Martinelli and uh, Clinigan with 12 rebounds here. Hunger, Clinigan with 11, Hunger with four assists, Bluey two, and Newton five. So let's take a look at uh, the box scores really quick here. Box scores. Take a look at those. Hunger with four points. Martinelli with eight, as we said, the leading scorer. Two for Langbord and Bluey. Two points. Big story here for him, Bluey. Uh, it's 0 for 6 from the field, 0 for 2 from the three-point line. He's only got two, uh, one rebound, two assists, so they've pretty much shut down Bluey here on this team. UConn was cheating. Go Cats. There you go. Uh, Ross says, let's go UConn. Welcome in, uh, Ross. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for the super chat there, Fruity Pebbles. Thank you so much. Let's look at the UConn stats here. Uh, let's go back here. It's a popular segment. We go to Barkley's Bracket. Chuck you ready to go to Barkley's Bracket? Oh, let's go to Barkley's Bracket? I was going to be like, I thought it was going to say, Chuck. I thought this was find the red dot. Yeah. I was gonna, <laughs> ready to go to Barkley's Bracket? Going over there? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Bar what is Barkley's Bracket? Okay. Okay. I, I had a rough night last night. Oh, really? The only bracket that CSI investigates. Look at this man alive. What's up, Matthew? Oh, my goodness. You have them going to the final four. I did. So you only have two left yeah. that could possibly go. <laughs> he hardly has two <laughs> no, teams no, left in the God, thing. Lee. Yeah, Lee. You know, that is God. really ugly. Yeah, you can oh, see. New Mexico's gone. Oh, yeah. my God. St. Mary's, Mary's gone. gone. By the way. Oh, my God. Yeah. Our state's still alive, right? Yeah. Okay, Illinois still yeah. alive, right? That's right. the matchup in the next round. Okay. Yep. Houston. Okay, James Madison, gone. No, they won that game. Give okay. yourself some credit. Okay. Don't mark out the one, here. Don't mark out the one yep. you got right. Okay, I feel good on a couple of these. <laughs> 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 Only a couple of them? Couple. Oh, my God. I don't know where I am right now, honestly. New York City? You've had a pretty good run there. Jim. Yeah, he has. Well, uh, we got San Diego Wastes. Yeah, 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 that's the other Yale, <laughs> Yale, Duquesne, <laughs> Illinois. Wait, Duquesne's, Duquesne's gone. gone. Duquesne is yeah. gone. That's right. Duquesne yeah. is gone. Uh, Drake is gone. Uh, -huh. uh North Michigan Carolina, State, Michigan Go. State. Well, you know, we want to beat them anyway. Grand Canyon, Alabama's going Baylor. right now. Uh, -huh. uh, Clemson is still in it. Ba uh, yeah. that's pretty good, that Kenny. Good pick. All right. All right, over here, I James have, Madison. James Madison, you know, but Houston's going to the final four, so it didn't matter. Uh, I don't you got think that so. one right, though. Yeah. Uh, Madison. The you got Creighton. Oh, I think Marquette right. takes down Houston. You got yeah. Creighton in Texas yeah. right down yeah. at the Exit bottom. out with another red pen. They got Creighton in Texas. Get rid of Texas. Get rid of Texas. Okay. Boom. Mm -hmm. And Gonzaga Purdue. Gonzaga. Yeah, Gonzaga Purdue. I'm good. There you go. Yeah, you're there in good shape. I would say in the head to head with the Chuckster. Oh, that's easy. That yeah. was easy. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to these four. Yeah. UConn, UNC, Houston, hey. and Gonzaga. Hey, Cletus, you need to pick it up, man. <laughs> <Steve Wells. laughs> that is not a very good bracket right there. It's, it's no not. Way, it's man. Thanks, man. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Second half is coming up, but now let's is learn it? how to connect to the uh, madness with coaches JB Smoove and Kayla up. at ATT Connect You. All right, so those are the stats there. UConn right here, 12 points for Klingon. He's got a double-double already with 11 rebounds. Seven points for Spencer. He's one for two from the three-point line. Not really too many three-point lines, but uh, five for six for Klingon. 10, re 11 rebounds, five blocks, one turnover. He is doing it on that side. Let's take a look here at the full scoreboard. Alabama up 45-39. Northwestern, of course, down 40-18. to Coming up, Texas A&M and Houston. Yale at San Diego State. Purdue, Utah State. Purdue takes down Utah State. Marquette takes down Colorado first thing this morning. Clemson takes down Baylor. And Duke takes down James Madison. So there's your scores around the nation. Hope everybody's had a good half so far. We'll be coming back here with the audio for the game. But everybody, thank you so much for all the love today. As we're almost 160 of us here, hit that like button for us. See if we can get some more folks in here. HG Wells says Houston. I don't think they're going. I, I got Marquette take, getting beat. Or Marquette taking 
taking down Houston in that in that bracket. I got uh, Marquette, Purdue, Zona, and UConn uh, in the uh, Final Four. That's my Final Four. We'll see what happens. But uh, I do think UConn will win, but at least the NIT was good enough to meet them in the second round. Most teams – oh, and you – would be I mean, second round. Most teams can't say that exactly. So second half coming back here just shortly. Hope everybody having a good time here on the channel. Thanks so much for getting the likes. We're trying to get to 100 likes. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do. Make sure you hit the subscribe. We're two away from our goal of 10,550. That's our goal, 10,550. Jake, what's up, man? They're dominating, are they? They're looking good. How many brackets? I got uh, th three. Got three brackets. One, I got UConn winning. One, I got Zona winning. And I got one, Purdue winning. They're my money brackets. I got money on those. So, we'll see what happens. But thanks for like 62 likes. 62 likes. Right, here we go. Expedition X this Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Discovery. And stay tuned for a special presentation tonight after NCAA coverage. Second half action is coming up. Winner moves on to the Sweet 16 in Boston. More to come. All right. So I'm going to try something here. Media file. We're going to test the music here. That's, that's not allowed now. All right, so that's cool. Get some music going during the halftime. Let me test see. background commercial uh commercial music as we're in, so it's not so silent a minute and 22 seconds before the second half comes up make sure you're hitting that like button for us and subscribing to the channel we're one away from 10,550 hit the like button for us and uh more more to come you smell eggs well, we're making the spaghetti here so you ain't smelling my stuff you saying illinois won't make it to the final four them is fighting words <laughs> fruity pebbles i'm sorry bro uh, I saw Illinois play against Tennessee. Uh, I think uh, UConn and uh, Zona. I think Zona's got it this year. They got knocked out earlier. I think they're going to take them. That's my opinion. But we'll see what happens. North Carolina is strong as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Feeling good. Feeling good. So... Just waiting on the uh, commercial to come back here. We'll be bringing it in live for you guys. <clears throat> 16 seconds to go here. We can bring back the live audio of the game. Second half coming up. If you're a UConn fan, make sure you're cheering on your team. If you're a NU fan, like my man Fruity Pebbles here, make sure you hit cheering on your team as well. This is a fan-friendly interactive chat. And we love to bring it to you guys. Here we go. Back to it. Financial services to help you follow your heart. Coors Light. Choose chill. Thanks for the subscribe, Celebrate guys. responsibly. Sonic. And by the all-new 2024 Lincoln Nautilus Hybrid. Here in Brooklyn, time to check out the Marriott Bonvoy first half stats. UConn shoots it at 53% from the field. They hold Northwestern to 26%, including 0 of 8 from three-point territory. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson. 
UConn has just put it all together here. We saw it against Stetson, the carry over the dominant performance of their big Donovan Klingon. Yeah, pure domination. St. Louis, Donovan best NCAA March by far. We talked fair, about him in the opening far. for good measure. Inside his presence, hook shots. Little Jack up. They get him on the move, he can score. And then Raph, his defense. Wow. Incredible. Five blocks, some intimidation. But Danny said it best to Tracy. He got healthier later in the year. He has played such good basketball of late. And let's send it to Tracy. Well, talking with Chris Collins coming out of the locker room, they're down 22 points. He said they need to take it with four-minute segments and it's win each of those baby. segments. He talked about the points in the paint. Yes, they have to do a better job on Klingon and then in terms of Boo Booey just two points he said he's being triple teamed other guys yeah. have to step up you know one interesting wrinkle when you do your homework leading up to a game like this UConn they've won five national championships they have never been to the Sweet 16 the year after all right, here you go Northwestern going title. left to right trying to change all, all purple all that white here. trim Very negative no, 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 not negative. It's just information. Wildcats <laughs> on their on their jerseys. Uh, Bowie! Swatted by Klingon! A new Bowie career getting high for what? Donovan Klingon. And Klingon blocked him again. Triple double. How about that? But that was a nice little set out of this uh, out coming out the half. I'll t- tell you what, though. If you were coaching. Oh, you're welcome, Sarah. Doing this, you you're need a more than welcome. Double <laughs> yourself. <laughs> and understood that. If you have Bowie, Langborg, and Barnheiser combined for one of six. Oh! It's Caravan. Flinging the down. Caravan with a slam. I don't know if I've seen that set before. That was, they, they, they come up, they're creative. What do you tell all of us watching European basketball, mm-hmm. pro G League? He gleans things. Well, we hey. saw the sheet of paper with the 50 plays that he has. And I'll tell you what, there's... Almost another block of goaltending there. Hunger turned the corner on clinging, but let's take a look at our AT&T connected cam. I mean, they throw it to Klingon, fake the dribble handoff, slip the screen. I mean, just precision. Beautiful textbook. Oh, UConn, what's the score? It is like 42 to 20. 17 field goals, 14 assists for UConn. <laughs> Always active. They'll get that little bump by Newton. The curl to the box, impeccable. Dan Hurley, who is evolving himself, he'll be the first to admit it. He said he wants to learn about leadership, so he consumes everything oh, I agree, he can Jake. get his hands on. Still did very in well to for Nick Saban boring. or John Wooden, Bill Parcells, We're Bill Belichick. At 20, he'll read, he'll listen to podcasts, whatever can help him become a better leader as a coach. I admire anybody who can consume. Can you and a thousand people the there at the end. You figure that out. That's why we have children. Caravan with another so laying up. He's got four. This is impeccable to approach. It's Mario Flores. To 20. If you're Every still watching, thanks for the subscribe. Feels crisp and feels as if they've got a plan. Barnheiser over Spencer. And that's his game right there. Those internet range, play physical in tough playoff minded March Madness. In that first half, and one for nine now, making his first field goal of the game. Well, we knew coming in the three perimeter guys are going to have to do 24-22, lead us 22 points job. for UConn. It's a lot of pressure on them. They wouldn't be Newton here without with the ball. Barnheiser, the game time layup that forced the overtime against FAU. Foul is called. Newton went up for Martin a basket, Nelly's got fouled. his shoulders. Watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet. Or streaming device with Fast Break, presented by Nissan in the March Madness Joshua lineup. Joshua says that's a weird question. Download it. What's up, Ron? Now, What's going in, on? In watching practice yesterday, they simulated Connecticut sets. And, and until you see them live, it's the reading of the set that they do better than most teams, I think. Well, you take away their option. They have another option. Mm-hmm. It's almost like they, they have sets, and then they have principles out of the sets. Mm-hmm. And they just play. His first. I mean, and the prep is murder for the opposing team. <laughs> How do you prep for it? Correct. Tristan Newton, first team All American. Transferred from East Carolina. And they just it thought he would be a seriously perfect fit for their system, and they were right. And to this team, though, the more you do their games, different from guys. Northwestern Bowie takes a three. Provide the lift. Bowie and he can't, can't get find one a basket. Go. 
Look at this run by the big guy. Nice Leggett. hands. Uh, it was affected there by Hunger. Leggett was trying to go for those the coast to coast. How about the speed of I, I'm amazed at Klingon getting up and down the floor. Well, he took two strides from half court and was down the this. other end, but beating everybody down and the trust that Newton has to try to throw it ahead. Spencer missed it from three-point territory, cleared by Barnheiser. Bowie is still looking for his first Ooh. field goal and a foul called. A cross check by Spencer. The lacrosse check. So the guy La who's doing check. the play-by-play play here, he's a radio guy, so you can tell the detail of he's, what he's giving you. Second half. I really don't have to say much. 39-point win for UConn you the detail you in the need. first round. Second largest guy. in NCAA team history. Good drive. Yeah. Good Klingon good. again. Another block for Another Klingon. Another block. Seven. Look at him down the middle. Castle to Newton rises up. Help is good. Excuse me. And a foul. <laughs> in waves. On top of their game. From beginning to end, Curtis, the what's big up, bro? Keeps it in try to be, try to grind as much on. as he can. How about this finish, huh? I mean, that is right there. The concentration, the contact. I mean, everything's clicking for this this team. Eighty percent shooter. I'm glad you got when to tune in, Sarah. Game, I, I don't know how you beat this UConn team. Well, oh. every game 49, is different. No 22. question about it. But you've got to have a lot of answers. Last team to go back to back, winning the title, Florida 06 07. And this UConn team has that look. Uh, we laugh about the characteristics of Dan. I mean, he's humorous in a lot of ways, but he is all business when it comes to the floor. Agreed. He is a great teacher, great leader. He has his guys ready for everything. I and mean, I'm just impressed that they won a championship and they've come back even hungrier. He probably is a spare washing machine <laughs> in the road trip. Just, just, in, case. just in case the other one breaks down. Three for Northwestern. <laughs> and he Hits finally hit one. 49-25, Langborg had 27 points in the overtime win against Florida Atlantic. This Northwestern Big team three improved by Langborg. The season. Look at that ball, how high they have to throw it. Newton, probing. There's that little roll he does it beautifully. And Barnheiser is called for the foul on Klingon. Newton to Klingon and a foul it out of his hands. Barnheiser. That's number three on Barnheiser. And that's the one area that we haven't mentioned at all or addressed is Klingon's ability with that body to bump, get free, screen for people. He's just alive on that offensive end. Repeat champions, Florida, Duke, UCLA. You just have historic programs that have done it. And UConn trying to etch its name onto that list. Another free throw here for Donovan Klingon. When we talked about Dan Hurley and his dad, Bob, he said the thing that struck him about his father is that he poured everything he had into being a coach. There was a consistent intensity about how he lived his life and how he approached the profession. It was all about yeah, rooting out uh, it's head that way, the habits Drake. that could undermine the success of your team. And, and when you break it down to that simplistic part of the equation, it makes a lot of sense. He has, they had pictures in the house. They, oh, oh, yeah. 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 even job. Pretty. Blake there you go. Slam it down. for Northwestern. Uh, they will play with distinction, though. Chris has done a great job with this team, as noted. Two starters unavailable. He's lost. Injuries uh, and, the pride that he has brought to this program is incredible. And a foul called out front on Boo Bowie. The Those were of shooting techniques. He had his kids. And All right, 51-27. This one is a disaster for Northwestern. But how can you guard these guys? I mean, Klingon's too big. You got Newton. You got Caravan. Like, it's going to be tough for a team to beat this team, but uh, you never know what could happen. Any team can go cold, and we'll see what happens. But make sure you're hitting that like button. We're trying to get to 100 likes on the channel, and we're trying to get to now 10,560 on the subscribes as we're making our way to 10,600 already. So appreciate y'all. As 11K, maybe next weekend. We'll see. Maybe next weekend. The weekend after, maybe. 
200 of us here today. Make sure we do NCAA basketball here coming up this Thursday and Friday. We'll be doing some more college basketball. So if you like our our channel, we've been I'm more of a Tennessee Volunteers fan. We'll definitely be covering that game on Friday. We might do two games. I don't know on Thursday. I'm not too sure yet. But uh, thank you so much, guys, for all the love today on on the channel. We've had a great day of racing as well. We are doing NASCAR on this channel as well. We try to bring that to you every weekend. The NASCAR series, the Craftsman Truck Series, the Xfinity Series, and the NASCAR Cup Series. And uh, coming up, sure, on Thursday. Uh, hold on a second. Um, and then on Thursday, Atlanta Braves, we start our MLB coverage uh, coming up here very soon with the Atlanta Braves uh, with their opening day game on Thursday. And then uh, Nashville Predator Hockey with the playoffs coming around the corner. The Preds are still in the playoffs. That's going to be coming up as well on this channel. So if you like all that, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button for us on this stream. Appreciate y'all. So coming back to the audio here in about 50 seconds. Uh, but make sure you check out Jennifer at Travel Depot that we talked about earlier. And uh, there is another one of our good friends who has a travel agency as well, uh, Majestic Triton Travel. Make sure you check him out. We went over our our, all of our social media earlier too as well. So we are all out of our business. Let's see if we can get our friends back in here. We had over 200 in here before the break. Subbed. Thanks. The Mild Cats, Sarah says. Pred night Tuesday, 7 p.m. CeeLo time. Ah, I don't think I'm going to do any Preds until uh, hockey playoffs start. Plus, uh, I don't know if I'll get back in time. Thank you for subscribing. Albert Zihan, thank you so much. March Madness here in the Big Apple. It is all UConn right now. The great Bill Murray, his son, Luke Murray, an assistant coach for the Huskies. And last night, this was amazing. Here in Brooklyn, what about Bill? <laughs> Bill Murray, Bill Raftery. You want to talk about a Rushmore. This is a Mount Rushmore, but Rushmore was a fine film that Bill Murray was in. If we get... Like Bill Bradley, we get all the bills. Ooh. Well, we're thinking of doing Ghostbusters three. You'd <laughs> <laughs> be a bit player. You're in. playing the ghost, yeah. or what are you playing? Uh, great family. I just want I to do not. We, we didn't on get Twitch, I do not have today. any way to watch <laughs> the, the uh, invite, Houston right? game. We just didn't realize that Bill Murray. Um, was I'm sure show someone up. will be doing we it online. Gone. You have to type on YouTube. I'm sure somebody's uh, doing he's it. He's a delightful host. I must agree. I will not so be. proud of what Luke's been able to do with this. Charles, program. let's go, Huskies. What's going on, man? Brothers and sisters in that family. Did you now, did you pick up the, the bill? No, one bill did, and it wasn't this bill. <laughs> this silo is lemonade. HG Wells. Fifty-one twenty-seven. Nice play. A turnover. Newton's going to walk Newton it in. in. Ooh. The Husky stuff. Flawless. And this is a good team they're playing against. Got them on their heels from the get-go. 16 turnover. points for Tristan Newton. How many that turnovers all now? scores. Klingon. Huge numbers. Only four. Which is crazy. Rebounds, seven blocks. Back in by Preston. Clinging all over. Show it. And doesn't get the bounce. Clinging gets the rebound. Clinging. Intimidation. Here comes Spencer in the open floor, too. They just find one another. Spencer using the Klingon screen. Nice hesitation. And takes it in for Spencer two. Spencer to the layup. I mean, this offense, Raf, the inside game, outside game. They can play in transition. They're unselfish. I mean, that's why they have the highest offensive efficiency in all of college basketball. They all can do it. And this kid in particular, Danny Tuttle, us yesterday, Spencer Watson. What's He's up, the coach? only guy who You're hasn't welcome, tasted an NCAA championship. Says it's a great addition. The V stream coach. Appreciate the sub the other day. Appreciate that, coach. As we're another commercial break, 55-27. Doesn't get any easier for Northwestern in the second half. What up on the go at CeeLo? Thanks for stopping by the stream earlier. Oh, you're welcome, dude. 
I always help out my man V when he when he's uh, streaming out there. He always comes by too as well. I'm sure, he's doing the Lakers here pretty soon, isn't he? Tell him if you're if he's over there streaming the Lakers, make tell him I said what's up. Tell him I said what's up. So I'm assuming it's more uh, UConn in here than it is uh, other than my man Fruity Pebbles who gave us the, the super chat and Sarah D with the super chat as well. Thanks for the love. And Troy with the membership tonight and all the new subscribers. Appreciate y'all. Minute and 17 left to go in this commercial. Let's see here. Well, oh, I forgot. I have I have audio again. I forgot. I have audio. Brady says, the only thing I got to hold on to is how far Illinois will go. Phil Jackson can't emulate Vietnam. H.G. Wells is having fun in the chat tonight. Bring home the championship, Huskies, Deb says. Charles says, Connecticut native with family members that went to UConn. Awesome, bro. Good to see you, Charles. You ready for Thursday with... Uh, the uh, Mets season opener, is it Thursday as well? I think everybody is Thursdays, right? Sir D says, great job, CeeLo, again, for doing this. Yo, no problem. No problem. All right, here we go. Back at it. And, Jamie, their head coach, Bryce Drew, certainly familiar with a March memory of his own. Oh, I'll wow. say the hook and ladder. 1998, oh. Valparaiso. Son. Here's Bowie, fend off. Good pass. Bowie, Down two points side. tonight and, and another turnover. By Spencer. Defense, offense, intangibles, all of it's been there for UConn. And teamwork, nothing selfish. Three. But a good look here. Misses, too strong on a three. Rebound with the Caravan. rebound. Cut by Spencer, extra, Diara. Too strong. Another missed three. 14% from the three-point line for UConn. dominance this season, 16 wins by 20 or more points. They've had 16 games of 20 or more assists. They've held the opponent to under 40% shooting 22 times. That is number one in all three categories in the nation. Yeah, we may not see Klingon again, by the way. Excuse me. Man. In, a, in a really tough oh, really, Jake? too. I mean, that Big East. Unheralded Big East, really. 3-0. Uh, teams left. Another block. Johnson with the block. The power of Sampson out of bounds. And I love they're not playing the score. I mean, they're just continuing to compete continuing to play the right way and obviously Dan Hurley demands that and Tommy Moore no let up at all. What's up Gator what's there. going on? They do compete Kamani is young as well Pick to finish third in the Big East preseason poll. Marquette number one Creighton number two, UConn number three I didn't vote so don't look uh, at me Apparently you did not Newton Screen, Johnson, Bowie trying to stick with him. Newton floated up. Johnson! Slam it down! Newton to Johnson with a slam. He gives a different look. I mean, the speed to the rim, the way he shows up ball screens. Martinelli misses. Hunger clears. Barnheiser shooting practice. And uh, nails the triple. Northwestern with a big three. So no Got it within now. Two of 11 from 27. Downtown. Just two of 15. I guess that's the one area that Dan Hurley can show his team and say we've got to see some improvement in Boston. Well, it's been all about paint touches, really scoring down low in the paint. 
Getting to the rim and getting to the free throw line. Newton. Rims out. Rebound knocked around, controlled by Martinelli. Hey, Northwestern's really outmanned today, but they play with dignity. There's a lot of pride in what they've accomplished. Three years in a row to the NCAA. 12.32 to go here foul. in this Couch second Couch your courtside, refresh your fandom with a delicious Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try and decide. Raph, you said it. I mean, Northwestern without Ty Berry, mm -hmm. who is a capable guy who can really score, shoot from the perimeter. And then Matthew Nicholson, seven-footer, who battled against Zach Eady in that win early in the season in their first game. And obviously for this game would have been oh, a with major, no major question. player against Klingon. Northwest going to the line here. Barnheiser knocks in a pair, 57-32. to 32. Nicholson and Berry in the bench area, along with athletic trainer Jeff Tanaka. Come up on 12 minutes to go in this second half. Newton using the Johnson screen. Diara gets the step on Martinelli. Nice yeah, pocket pass. Johnson couldn't basketball. catch it. Bowie, spin. They, they double and they really have sometimes had three people on them. There's nowhere for him to go. No. Hunger Easy feeds the post. Barnheiser leaves. makes his move inside. Shows it. Nice kicks kick. it. Hunger. No good on a three and out. And Johnson's speed to just help and cover the floor defensively just gives a different look as a big than Klingon. It's still effective. And Hunger with a good look. He's made six this year in limited minutes. I did some extra research on Hunger. You coached against his dad when he was a player at Providence. Rich Hunger, big man for the Friars. Inside, Johnson finishes. Remember, Johnson with a two. Uh, I'm going to digress. That was a heck of a slam. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't in, I wasn't the chief scout that day. Well, we found your scouting report. It was on the back of a bar napkin, and it said, Hunger, he's big. <laughs> I was always precise with detail. <laughs> 59 to 32. All you Bowie, gone here. And now they box him up. And Castle Bowie went in and with the takedown. Pretty good, aren't they? Very good. Mm. Not bad. UConn. Up big. All righty. UConn up big as always. Dominating to the Sweet 16. Uh, Northwestern. Top score. Barnheiser, seven. Langborg, eight. And let's see who else we got here on the other side. UConn, 14 for Clinton. He's got 12 rebounds, one assist. Seven points for Caravan. 16 for Newton. 16, six for 11 for the field. 0 for five for Newton on the three-point shot. And then uh, Spencer, he's got eight points. He's four for eight for the field, so. All, all paint. Not much three-point shot. Don't have to shoot the three-point shot when you have the dominance inside like they are, and they cannot, Northwestern cannot stop it. So 12% uh, from the three-point line for UConn, 15% from the three-point line for Northwestern, 30% from the field for Northwestern, 54% from UConn. So... Everything is going their way. HG mm, Wells, man. HG Wells, what's up with you, bro? One liners trying to get some attention around here. Mm, so we're just waiting on the audio to come back here in one minute. One minute. Not been feeling too the best, but I'm heading off. All right, man. Thanks for hanging out today during the NASCAR stream, Daniel. And uh, welcome to the membership. We appreciate you being here. Glad you got to use the members today during the race. So good to see you. You know when you go to post a picture on Instagram stories, it automatically... Time Traveler. HG Wells is having fun. He's trying to get some attention. I guess the bigger you get, the more you have to deal with this. But that's okay. We don't really have to deal with it much.
your final message is Yukon. There you go. Using those emojis, man. Yeah, have a good night. Terminator, what's up with you, dude? Appreciate you being here as well. I got the best mods in the business, man. They'll they'll snipe you left and right. Snipe you left and right. 24-7 coverage of the Big Dance. All the biggest moments in sports catch. Tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and much more. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Game summary, UConn shooting it at 55%, really controlling the paint. That was from the very start, 42-16. to 16. They've also gotten out in transition, 16 nothing Huskies. And they've shared it, 18 assists with Klingon and Castle now on the bench. Klingon... If Northwest can go on a run here, with Klingon gone. Blocks. And Bird, that's what jumps out there, sharing the ball. Bowie. So on Shoots up. One of the few times and out. Alone. Bowie, Bowie gets his own rebound. Uh, the rebound controlled by Northwestern. Look at the help and then the recovery. Arnheiser back in. He's trying to take it to the freshman Stewart. Oh. And in. Plus one. And that's Barnheiser's game. Klingon's right in there. there. That don't happen. Down, being patient. Strong, great physicality, and able to turn away from the double team there and get it high off the glass. Three-point play coming up here for Northwestern. Season 13, all Big Ten. Amy says UConn. What's Big up, Ten, Amy? All defensive team. But like it's been for all of the Northwestern players tonight, it's just been a struggle Ooh. for him. Ten points, though, in double figures. Yeah, this bench has been alive on anything good. We they are together as well. And it is difficult when you're outmanned and in a sense outclassed to keep your pride down. Oh, oh, up slam! And then the line. Samson Johnson. Newton to Johnson. With the alley oop slam. So they found him on a few occasions right at the rim. Bowie. Bowie. Gets inside. That won't go. Followed up. Gets his own rebound. So Boo Thanks Bowie. for the subscribe. First field goal comes. Appreciate that. Just before we hit the midway point of the second half. And his demeanor has not changed a bit. You know, some kids get down on themselves. He just keeps playing. Thanks for the subscribe, Amy. Bowie from Albany defending Diara from Queens. Six more to 10,560. Another one, Johnson. Missed oh. it on an up and under. No, it's Diara. But he's fouled. Head to Bleacher Report for the latest episodes of From the Point by you got Trey Brad, uh, Marquette, me too. Stars conversations with A-list guests and his unique perspective on Cielo stories from around the league. Download the Bleacher Report app to Melbourne, watch now. Australia. And Raph on that last play, it's a little thing, but Diara makes the Via pass to Spencer. V. Awesome. And the defender relaxes. Rob, I remember you. Hey, thanks for that uh, right down gift the, the other night, Rob. So Let's see if I can do it for you. I don't know if I can. Just uh, reading the defense, understanding opportunities. And spectacular. Makes the pass, and Martinelli turns his head. Quick cut. So well schooled. Oh, and Spencer, it was almost like uh, Spencer knew that he was cutting on that play and just so locked in with one another. The only thing that surprised me so far, clinging back in. Yeah. You got and it, baby. Early is sent <laughs> as big man you, back onto the floor. They have 19 assists Welcome just to the channel, turnovers. Man. And Raph, are you, are you questioning Dave Hurley's coaching? I, I just worry about the star performer. You know, at this point. Bowie only. How many points does Bowie have? That's fair. Bowie feeds it. Barnheiser. Four points for Bowie tonight. Oh, extra hunger high off the window. Did he get a piece of it? Mullins. Not sure Our top they're, guy they're with four points ain't helping. A block on that one. He's got seven of them. And Bowie is fouled. Like by I said, Castle. Bowie can't do it all Plus here. This kid has. Let's see if they get a piece of this. Yeah. I, no, he got it up. He got is, uh, Bahala, Ooh, he is he doing, uh, piece. is he doing Lakers right now? That would be eight, by the well, way. They still have him at seven. So official score has ruled that it was not a block for Klingon. He got it right there. A little piece. Barnheiser. Nice play. Uh, Charles, uh, he's found his big rhythm. shot he's for Northwestern. Two shots, two points. Bump right there. 62 Maybe not 39. As strong as he is. Barnheiser, 6'6. Six, six, listed at 215 pounds. Well put together. 12 points to lead Northwestern. Spencer 
62 points in the paint tonight. <laughs> Spencer accelerates. And a soft touch. Good. You know, they play hard, but their offense also has an elegance to 64. it. 64. Really and a big three for Northwestern. Bullseye on a three. I love this attitude, though. And this is a class operation by a class guy and coach. 64 42. Oh, yeah. Brian Langborg. His dad, Kurt, was a swimmer at Yale. Langborg coming over from Princeton. Eight points for him. Newton accelerates. Spin. Alicia. Oh, major highlight. Tristan Newton. How did he do it? There Woo. are kisses and then there are sweet ones. Newton, baby. It's traffic. He's a beast. Too high. Louie trying oh, to get into their big man and out of bounds. Turnover. This was your realm. You came up with a couple of these. I mean, the spin cycle, the hesitation, the left hand. I thought Ralph was going to say, the fake Newton. <laughs> All right. Two minutes on the commercial. Bringing our little music here. All right. 66-42 is the score. 57% from UConn. Only 12% from the three-point line. They don't need that. But uh, to be a solid team. Uh, it's going to play some guys that can run with them. They're going to might need to start shooting some threes to get used to that. Uh, only four turnovers for uh, UConn, five for Northwestern, 28 rebounds for UConn, 23 for Northwestern. So 66-42. Uh, Normally we color, cover the Tennessee Volunteers, so... I'm more in tune with the players, but I kind of know the uh, UConn players a little more than I do Northwestern. But all I know is that Bowie uh, is Bowie can't do everything for Northwestern. So Charles says you wouldn't know that if you didn't follow me literally everywhere I go. Charles is a big hockey fan. He's a big Rangers fan. He's a big Mets fan. He does his thing, but. Charles says, I'm going to be in Florida in May. It might run into some enemies if being Rangers gear, assuming the Rangers are playing the Lightning or the Panthers. You got NHL playoffs coming up. Uh, I got the uh, Predators for my Pred stuff, man. We'll see what happens. Preds got a lot, tough schedule coming up, though. The score should be 66 to 66. Yeah, if uh, Northwestern could hit their threes, you know, that's just how it is. But you know when you go to 30 seconds to go here, 30 seconds to go. Let me bring it back to live audio for y'all. But thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks for everything. The Predators should make it, but we got to play Boston. We got to play the Winnipeg again. We got to play Colorado. So it doesn't get any easier, even though we did play uh, the Panthers and shut them out and also beat the Red Wings. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Two, five, four, three, two, one. Audio coming back from the game right now. The Sweet 16 begins Thursday with Nissan NCAA tip-off on TBS at 6 p.m. That's followed by doubleheaders on CBS and TBS, high-level offensive execution for UConn here tonight. So high level because they're getting into the paint. They average 38 points in the paint per game, 48 right now. Offensive execution, transition, just patience and screening. Screening, I mean, friends are a good team. It's really been textbook. It's like dummy offense at times <laughs> out there. And they sprinkle a lot of things into their set. 66 40 HG Wells, man. Just under eight minutes. We'd to love play. to have you in the chat. We can't be having you spam on the watch by Boo. Activity always. Caravan Spencer and a step in. What turnover? Stumble. Good control. Langborg. Back at that. Look at three. And again, the spirit. Look at these kids. Here we go. 11 points for Langborg, the San Diego native. Hey, there's always hope. They're going to get some stops, obviously. Let's keep playing. 
Newton cut off by Bowie. High screen Klingon. Second screen from Spencer. Look at this. He just slips. And that Another turnover. Kornheiser, oh, we got it right saves. back. Spencer with eight to shoot in a crowd. Spencer needs to shoot it up. There's your bailout. There's that Klingon. Moving. Caravan. Caravan misses three the three. Territory. Let's dodge him one the way he shoots. Two of 17 from long hey, range. Butterfly. The Huskies. Kornheiser. Pivot. Back, back, back home from the race. Northwestern putting together some stretches. Uh, have a good time. Consecutive offensive possessions. And 66 and 47 well. slowly. Northwestern coming back here. Huskies. We're down to 635 remaining. 20 to 9 extended run. In come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Audio will be back here in a second, guys. A little lag. On the audio. Come on, come on, come on. You went home and it was awesome. Nice butterfly. Let's see here. Let's get this back here one second. Do, 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 do. One second, y'all. Be back here in a second. I'm going to pause it for the commercial. I had to reset it here. 15 seconds. We'll bring back the audio here. One second. Just hang tight. One second, y'all. Two, one. Here we go. Six minutes to play. Barnheiser gives 66, up his dribble. 66, 47, Funker, six help. minutes left well, in this game. Can get going now too. Bowie turns Bowie the corner. finally gets it. Oh, he still can't get a pass. Boo Bowie is one of 12 from the field. One of the few easy ones for him. Clear it. Newton. Green, no reason. A little trick by Bowie, and it's unintentional. And Newton goes down on the play. That is the eighth team foul against Northwestern. It's going to send Tristan Newton to the free throw line. And the empty side takes advantage. Clever release. Just doesn't come up with it. One of the few opportunities. And that's number four on Boo Bowie. Could be his last one time here playing here. Newton. He's a senior. They tell him to tuck in his jersey. Mm -hmm. That. Get those likes up. That's right. We're trying to get to 100 likes. So we're 86. 18 points. We're trying to get to 100 likes, He also has nine assists. You know, 85, sorry. Are better calling that. Yes. Have it there, sure. You know, straightening out the shirt than others. You're saying some don't really mm -hmm. care. Some don't pay Let's In and out playing. for Newton. 66-47. Newton missing on that free throw. He's not made a three. He's 0 of 5 individually. Bowie, stop and go. Look at that. Fakes out, Clayton. Here's the roll and the foul. Good for them. Ooh. Still fight. Clever. 66 49. Nice pump fake. Three point you see play coming three up point here. Shot, but make look it at Clayton. A 16 right point now, lead. Everybody in the Collins house is happy. Talk about a competitor right there. Chance at a three-point play for Boo Booey after Boo -Booey. the timeout called by UConn. Northwestern creeping back into it in Brooklyn. A little turnover here, a little turnover there. Equals a slow creep by Northwestern Wildcats. Let's see what happens here. Uh, can UConn shut this down shut this run down go on a little run here put it away with six minutes left to go in this game so i hope everybody's enjoyed the game today thanks for all the new subscribers appreciate y'all hanging out already and uh i hope the vols take it i hope so too that'd be nice butterfly we got a long way to go congrats on the vols i mean last night i was listening to the game on the way home and man, oh man, I was sweating, sweating. Back at it already. Thanks for the subscribe, boy, oh boy. Gary Run Nichols. Did you see that 16 to six on fast breaks? A lot of those since your Longhorns can't. Yeah, it was a sweating game. UConn versus Tennessee in the final. Wow, that'd be nice. Aspect of the game now. They've got to show their toughness. Northwestern showing their guile. And the competitive spirit. And you think Dan Hurley has used this this stretch here during that timeout. So the lead to is 16. Guys to, to come through when these when these opportunities happen. And then they always run their stuff a little bit better after a timeout. 
Northwestern has outscored UConn 32 to 26 in the second half. A little Look more tighter defense, defense on North for Northwestern. Spencer Murray misses. Caravan, the offensive board and the reset to Newton. Find the open man. Diara rims out. And now we're having a trouble. Of Northwestern. They are Northwestern. Team from downtown. Now you're not as loose if you're connected either. Bowie. Out of rhythm, you're thinking. Get it back from Hunger. Bowie floats it up. Another block short. Klingon was there. He got one earlier. They didn't count. I think he got one there. 66-50. Huskies. 66-50 here. Klingon 14 points, 14 rebounds for Klingon. You've got to stay in the flow, though. You can't stand still. Tough to get it resuscitated late in the clock. They spread it. Now it's Newton with six to shoot. Late in the shot clock. Four Newton seconds. To fly. Miss. Rebound. rebound. By Caravan. Caravan. Newton He's reset. Offensive. He's offensive. Oh, alley -oop. Oh, it's still. Oh, look at that. Northwestern stole that away. Barnheiser lost it. No, they're not going. Oh, Amy Out says, what are you doing? Chris Collins is in disbelief, thought there was a foul, but is definitely proud of his group as they continue to fight. All right, they're coming back. They're coming back, making this a game. They were down like 27 at the time, but my gosh. 66.50. 219 of us here watching this game. Make sure you hit that like button for us. Trying to get to 100 likes. Seven to go to 100. Appreciate all the love. Curtis, 211 watching and haven't hit 100 likes yet. What's up with that? Queen says, Coach Hurley is going to be yelling at the end. Yes. we be screaming here. Letting these guys sneak back in here like that. Uh, UConn needs to get up going. Mm. Fruity Pebbles slowly popping in here, slowly coming back here on Yukon. So, minute 40 seconds to go. Minute 40 seconds to go. Two more likes for 100, yes. Mary Nichols, thanks for that subscriber a little bit ago. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate that. But uh, more college basketball coming up here uh, at uh, Thursday and Friday. We'll go from there and then racing on Saturday and Sunday. Easter weekend. Saturday racing, Saturday, Sunday racing. College basketball Thursday and Friday. And then baseball Thursday as well. So it should be having a good time on Thursday. Hit it and go. That's right. 100 likes. Thanks, guys, for making that possible. Roll Dog says, back to back miss calls is crazy, Roll Dog says. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds after this commercial, t official TV timeout, 66.50. I think Newton does his thing, and I think Clinton gets going here. Carabin hits a three, and it is over. I guarantee it. How about Alabama? Did they win? Alabama won. Awesome. So, and then uh, Texas A&M in Houston, 34-33. Uh, that's interesting, too. How about Alabama? Remember, for five months, Gator hit the like. That's right, man. Hit the like. Flushed out Grand Canyon on a 17 to 3 run. Here's Nick Pringle with the crisp flush. The World Tide find themselves in back to back Pete 16 appearances. 72 61. Alabama moves on. North Carolina, Alabama so, Thursday. Jamie, they're going to Maybe I'll LA be doing that game. to play North Carolina, Clemson, and Arizona also in that portion of the draw. I'll be doing that game on Thursday. UConn has gone ice cold. It's left the door open here for Northwestern. To make a run. We're down to 352 to play. Back out. Mullins gives it up, turns it over. Nice hands. Thank you for that super chat. A no dollar it's 49, it's Sarah. Thank you so much. Minutes for the Huskies. And really, as you mentioned, not making threes, getting a little cold. Huskies need to get it here. Three minutes to and go. Foul on Mullins. What's up, Wendy? 
After all the games are over, Adam Lefko, Jay Wright, Candace Parker, Let's Seth care Davis, they got the highlights, the analysis, Let's get this Inside going March here. Madness presented by Buick. Later tonight, only on TBS. So Newton back to the free throw line, where he is four of five tonight. 18 points to lead all scorers. Came in averaging just over 15 per game. This gets numbers Newton. in every category. He's got nine assists in addition to those points. He's the 19 points for Newton. 19. It's amazing. 80% free throw percentage for Newton on the year. He has five or six tonight. Points per game Makes it 20 in points. In El Paso, Texas, 3,266 career points mm. as a prep star. That's a number. 68 to 50, UConn. Coming up on the three minute mark of the second half. Langborg rises up. Ducks it down. Ooh. That's the second shot that he's hit on Klingon. Playing with more Big confidence. Hit. We saw him come alive in the second half Friday. A nice little set, too. Double stagger and then dribble handoff. 13 points, 5 of 6 from the field. He just couldn't get a clean shot off in that first half. Castle. Nice play. Klingon. Spin. Goes left. And he missed the little layup. And Klingon really upset he didn't get a call. Boo Booey. Into his own man. And a turnover. And a turnover. Castle, look out in these situations. Laid it up in. Castle, 70 to 52. Drives in for the deuce. His will and strength imposed. How about the step work? Thanks for that super step chat there, Sarah. With seven points. The lead is back to 18. Just two minutes to go. To the basket. Stop by Klingon. By Klingon. Do not go in there. He's got to be careful, though. He's walking a little. Lindsay's saying to calm down. What a factor this kid is. And you mentioned earlier. The, I can't wait to see Klingon versus. I want to see Klingon versus. Great multitude Eating. of yards. A great stride length and great timing. Oof. Go. Just gave go go CT Blue Boy. DJ says. <laughs> Here's Bornheiser. Oh, beer. The jumper goes. Good shot. Jumper they for Hornheiser. Playing. And Barnheiser's had a solid second half yeah. here. Found his rhythm. Two minutes to go I'm here. Sure Lead is 24. These kids. 16 for Barnheiser. 70 to 54. Huskies. Minute 51 seconds to go. What a wipeout. I know it. Castle. Swing. No rush. A minute 37 to play. Caravan. The fake. The drive and the deuce. Plus and the one. foul. Three-point play Henderson coming up for Caravan. Up. Generally, you think of him as a spot-up shooter. We knew he can go without the ball, but triple drive finish. This is a fantastic shot fake right there that set it up. And now How's Andrew anybody going to stop make some this team? Here. With his team up big, that turns out to be the dagger for Caravan. And a chance to tack on one more with his squad up by 18. And and to, misses the free have, throw. You have to think that Dan Hurley will show maybe the last six, seven minutes <laughs> and use that as a source of motivation with this group. Bowie. Bowie. Float or no, but a foul. Gets fouled going to the basket. This summer, the Targaryens, the Iron Throne, and the biggest show on TV are back. Season two of the uh, HBO Mr. original series. Blue DJ, I Dragon got UConn, June 16th, Arizona. On Max. Marquette. Two shots here for and Boo Booey. Wrapping Purdue up his collegiate career in the tonight. Final four. Five years. Helped turn this program around. This team wasn't winning much when he got there. And slowly but surely, Chris Collins and Boo Booey, and with the help of a number of players that rotated in and out over his five years in Evanston, have made this a winning program. Yeah, they really have. And Boo Booey, this, his play, his leadership, his commitment. This is what the water pups do. And obviously his his family, his brother as well on the staff. Yeah, and here he goes, too. Yep. He deserves an nice I hope it pays off. Kid. And that's it His for Bowie. Taylor Battle, the He's done. Leading scorer at Penn State and assistant coach Chris Collins. 
he told us the other day just how special this relationship has been. He said, hey, boo, boo, we could have left. We could have left. Could have gone somewhere else. He wanted to stay. He wanted Finishes his to experience career. these moments as a Northwestern Wildcat. And that boo was a complimentary boo. Yes. This terrific uh, kind of Three. Over the years missed. Rebound. The All the subs are in there for UConn now. Off the ball, miss, and a foul is called. And there is Louie really with good. his brother, Taylor Battle, who has a, another brother, Taryn, who played at Penn State and Hofstra. What's up, Shady Lane Holmes? What's up, man? Kids. So, big family. He got the offer from Northwestern out of Gould Academy in Maine. Went to prep school after attending Troy High School as well. And All right, Curtis. The end Peace of out, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you soon. career for Daniel Boo Booey. Yeah, look who he's there with his two pals unable to play. Burry and Wickerson. Amazing career. Calling out John He's got Cena. a lot of basketball left in him. Mm -hmm. He will be playing basketball for some time. And he won't and be a free throw. Team either. That's true. Some guys that can do some damage as well. Three seconds left in this massacre. Singare Nobody is foul in. anybody. Ruma Glue and Hurley. Over the back three going the other way. 43.9 left. Shady Lane Holmes becomes a... Pro, pro uh, member, thank you, Shady Lane Holmes. Andre Johnson now checking in. Appreciate Bristol, that, Connecticut man. Native. Do you remember your last? I mean, yes. Pretty emotional? Yes, we lost in the finals to yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. So you that was a tough yeah, that, one. That's even harder. <laughs> you fruity just knowing that it comes to an end. Yeah. You, know, you no longer will, will suit up for your school <laughs> and play with that group. Mm. A lot of other people were crying when you left, too. No, you been that like twice. Like, like, the one twenty-five. Yeah, three. He, he might have been happy that I was. And a big three. Johnson nails it from long range. From Johnson Jr. His name's in the box score, and he's got score. Nobody foul. Back it up in an NCAA yeah. tournament game. Foul called. Barnheiser will shoot a pair with twenty-three points. Your Huskies did it again, Deb. They were getting scary there for a second. And they're going to move on to the Sweet Sixteen. Chris Collins is going to make a change here as well. Sophomore Gus Hurlburl will check in. Hopefully uh, UConn and Tennessee we'll don't play at the same time on Friday. Assuming he makes these two free throws. Oh, no. I think UConn Thank will play on right. Thursday. Thank you for that. Subscribe. Appreciate that. Barnheiser's a junior. JBS. Lafayette, JRS. Indiana. B7. Parents, both collegiate athletes. Or 8 7. Heidi played softball at Auburn. His dad, Mark. Played basketball at Purdue and Auburn. I think. And do we know who UConn gets next? We see. Gets a hug from it his head coach. It should show it here in a second. Chris Collins and meaningful words as well. 18 points, six rebounds for the Lafayette, Indiana native. Final 15 seconds. Hurley dribbling. Hurley. Gets rid of it. And in his hand. It started with Dan Early and it enters, ends uh, with Andrew. GG Another Northwestern. Performance from UConn, UConn is Huskies. in the Sweet 16. Making it look easy en route to the Sweet 16. The defending champions advance. I'll, I'll see Fruity. Uh, I gotta see what the schedule looks like with baseball and all that. But yeah, figure it out. Knocks off the nine seed in the East, Northwestern in the first ever meeting between these two programs. So the final numbers, UConn still shot it at 54% from the field. They just didn't make it. All right, and that is it. 15%. So UConn's going to play the winner of San Diego State, Yale. I mean, he said the they'll take on, on the, the start, after that, whoever wins Illinois, half, Iowa. They just cruised in the second one. Don't come near me. What he established early. 52 points in the paint for the Huskers. Thanks for getting us 52. to 10,560. Amazing. Those are NBA numbers. Yeah, they Sweet are. 16. You're welcome, Sarah. Appreciate all the They're new subscribers be tonight. Appreciate y'all. And Danny's I'm got glad something I to bark about. about. <laughs> the game to you guys. <laughs> to watch it. Yes, he does. So UConn's going to await the winner of the San Diego State Yale game. Could it be an all Connecticut? Sweet 16 matchup. Wow. That possibility, possibility remains alive. 
And for Northwestern, you're welcome. Their big dance ends in Brooklyn. But another fine season for the Wildcats. Over to Tracy. Actually, Danny just said to me, I don't want Klingon standing next to him. He wants him to stand next to me. I'm not standing next to him. I've been there. I've done that. Uh, Coach, I mean, a dominant performance. I know you're probably going to welcome that Deb. little run that Northwestern went on. But still, when you think back about what they did out here today, how would you describe it? That's Brave, impressive because that's a team that won 13 games in the Big Ten and um, you know, beat a good Florida Atlantic team. And so much respect for Chris and the Northwestern program. And it, they don't have those injuries. They're not an eight seed. They're probably a five seed, and we wouldn't have had to deal with them today. Donovan, take a little step closer to Coach now. Uh, yeah, how would you describe his performance and his development over this year? Well, he's healthy now. Look at and you it's see huge, bro. Just how he impacts the game all over the world. Oh, we lost it. And I think he's inspired, too. You got the new King Kong movie out with God uh, Godzilla. So Clink Kong. Pretty Pebbles, right thanks now. for hanging out, he knows bro. The opening's coming, and he's playing his best ball. Well, thank you. And Donovan, for you, a near triple double. You were two blocks short. Although, if you ask Raph, you had those Pretty two Pebbles. blocks. You thanks know, for the super chat of five as well, bro. There, but, um, thank you so much, you Pretty Pebbles. What your team did here out here today. Yeah, I mean, it's impressive. Northwestern's you know, a top team, top defensive team, top offensive team. They got a lot of skilled players, great coach. Um, you know, so just to go out there and, you know, start the game, play that first half the way we did, it's impressive. And, you know, we just. Just trying to get momentum going as we go game by game, and you know I'm just happy with how the boys played tonight. Speaking of momentum, how confident is this team playing right now? You know, pretty confident. You know, there's still obviously a few things we need to work on. You know, rebounding the ball better, better in transition defense. Um, you know, just just keeps making more shots and moving on offense. But you know, we're we're, pretty, we're very confident right now, and you know we're just gonna keep working. Enjoy this one. On to the Sweet 16. Let's go, go Huskies! All right, Tracy. That's a 75-58, it was not. All right, 75-58 is the final. Let me uh, let's look at the box scores really quick, and then we're going to call it a night. I'm going to go eat some dinner. But we'll take a look really quick at the box scores of the UConn versus Northwestern. It was all UConn from the beginning, and it never looked back. Let's see here, team stats. And that's, uh, let's look at uh, intermission. Let's take a look at those really quick. As you can see on there, not much a big crazy difference there. At least Northwestern improved their field goal percentage to 37%. Improved their three-point percentage to 26%. It was even lower than that. They hit all their free throws. Rebounds, about the same. Assists, look at the assists. 20 assists for UConn. Sharon the Rock reminds me of Tennessee. Sixth, about the same on steals. Turnovers, about the same. Points in the paint. Where's the points in the paint at? Points in the paint. 52 points out of the 75 in the paint. Wow. Out of the 26. Fouls, about the same. And then biggest lead was 30. Crazy. For uh, UConn, just dominant. Here is the box scores here. Bowie finishes his career uh, last game two for 15 from the field. Miserable game for him. Not the way you want to go out as a senior in your last game. 0 for 3 from the three-point line. He just could not get it going. He only had four assists. Ended up with nine points. Hit four fouls. Uh, most points there was uh, Ron Heiser. He had six, 18 points. And then uh, on the UConn side, just dom complete domination. Klingon, six for seven, 13, uh, 14 rebounds, 14 points, a double double for him. Castle looking good. Newton doing his thing, 20 points. Caravan, he's got nine, 14 for Klingon. So. Just domination off the bench, not too much, but six points for Johnson. He had a couple of those slammer jammers, alley oops from Newton. Uh, other than that, that's about it. But uh, Dar with uh, five points as well. So, and I think we looked at. Let's look at the scores around the nation real quick, and we'll call it a night. Texas A&M uh, down 43-38 on Houston. We'll be watching that game. 
But uh, there's the rest of the scores from today. Alabama finishes at 72-61. Duke as well. Clemson a big win over Baylor. So those are it, y'all. I hope everybody had a good time today. Appreciate y'all being with us. And uh, thanks so much for hanging with us on On The Go with CeeLo. So it looks like we'll finish with uh, 10,559 subscribers. We'll get some more next time. All right. Let's go to the studio. And that is the final. Appreciate everybody being here. Thanks so much. And I want to thank my wife, lovely wife, Spain, for everything she does. I love you, baby. And then uh, I want to thank my mods, who the past couple days we've had to deal with some trolls. But that's okay. That means if the trolls are coming after you, you're doing something right. That they're jealous of you. So that's a good thing. So you got the best mods in the business. We appreciate you guys. And then I'll thank all the members. Troy becoming a new member today. Shady Lane Holmes becoming a member today. And then our uh, our newest subscribers, JRS87, Sarah D with that super chat as well. Gator, member for five months. I appreciate you, buddy. Mary Nichols subscribed. Amy subscribed. Albert Jehan subscribed. Mario Flores. Fruity Pebbles with the $5 super chat. Barbara Ed, uh, Eaton's the subscribe. Sarah D with a 99 cent super chat. Benjamin D subscribed. Renova 340326 subscribed. Um, Mr. Chirko, Chirico, MMC Chirko, Tony with the, becoming a member earlier today and uh, earlier the beginning of the game. And everybody else, appreciate everybody being here with all the private subscribers too. So, all right, y'all, I'm calling it a night. It's been a fun day, long day with racing and then basketball. Um, probably nothing tomorrow. Maybe a member's Monday tomorrow. We'll see. For you members, look for a uh, stream for that scheduled tomorrow morning, possibly. There it is, 10,560. We got it there. So thank you guys, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for a great day on, on the channel. So I'm going to eat. It's time to chill. We'll see you guys next week. Let's have some more fun and go Vols. Oh, yeah, let me turn it around. I don't think any UConn fans or Northwestern fans would want to see it, but got me a new UT hat. I'm happy. So we'll see you next week.